Why do people smoke, Yogi? According to statistics, uh, they'd be better off if they didn't. Why don't they quit then, Yogi? It's not easy to quit smoking, Boob. Most of today's smokers started as teenagers, before the dangers of cigarette smoking were known. The kids thought smoking made them look grown up. Matt and Ryan from Super... Uh, Alan Carr's easy way to stop smoking. <laughs> yes! I can finally take my health seriously! <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> you alright, Ryan? Ooh. <coughs> hey, hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey, hey, you need some water? Hey, you, I think you need to stop smoking, uh, Ryan. Huh? I think you need to stop smoking. Well, you're in luck because my stop smoking coach is by Alan with Alan. It's, who's it's Alan? It's with Carr? Alan Carr. Who the fuck is Alan? I have Carr? no idea who Alan Carr is, but he created Alan Carr's easy way to quit smoking. I'm looking up Alan Carr right who's now. Who's Alan Carr? I'm looking him up for you. Alan Carr was a British author of books about quitting smoking and other psychological dependencies, including alcohol addiction. He quit smoking after 30 years as a hundred uh, something whatever. Doesn't cool. matter. He's Thanks, an old Alan man. Carr. Yeah, but he made a game. He helped make a game. Or it has a minute. We're gonna do a new session. It's a Nintendo DS game too that a, a fan sent us. So thank you so much. By the way, if you're a smoker and you feel like having a cigarette, go ahead. Well, Ryan, pull it out. Light one up in here. Oh, okay. God, let's Aaron, let's start smoking. I don't think Aaron's gonna be too happy you're doing that in the recording room, but it's it's part of your process to get better. One of the great advantages is the easy way that you can continue to smoke. What? While smoking through the process, this sounds like a How does scam. that make sense? You okay. can continue smoking cigarettes while you're quitting smoking. Uh, your final cigarette become a non-smoker. Okay. okay. Ryan, you might have to actually keep doing this after this 30-part uh, Let's Play. Oh, look at the bottom screen. It seems uh, this guy is trying to attract your attention. He certainly is, isn't he? Hi. Hello. Oh, he waved back at me when I said hi. He will accompany you throughout the method, acting as a link between you and the game. He's our avatar, Matt. That's us, dude. I suggest you pay attention to him when he appears. I certainly will. Don't worry. This is my favorite visual novel. First of all, could you tell me your first name? Ooh, you get to write it out using the Nintendo DS's touch oh, screen. Oh boy, okay. Uh, yeah. Let me let me give you my name. Tender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I got it. All I right, got it. Come on. Finally, some gameplay. I'm not play. a child. Are you? We know how to write. Are you teaching a five-year-old to stop smoking? <laughs> I know how it works. <laughs> right. Did that pay? Okay, you got it. No, 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 it didn't register it. Oh. It's gotta be capital Y. You gotta you got do the stroke no. order. No! No, it put a V. Do the stroke order. Like, like, one, one. two. There you go. Cool. A. Oh, no, it oh, picked it up as a fuck. D. That's a round. <laughs> That's an awful A. No, no. Try try two strokes. Like, A. Like, like, that. A, yeah. There you a. go. What the fuck? It doesn't allow you to do two strokes, Matt. It should. You well, gotta do it, it faster. Do Sorry. it fast. I'll, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I'm surprised I picked that up. Okay, Ryan. Okay, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Ryan, I'm a bit embarrassed to ask, but I need to know your age. 18 years old. Oh, oh fuck, nope. that goes up by 10. Okay, let's, uh, let's get you what you're on. 23 years old. 23 years young, Ryan. Because is now, he... now that you've, you're, you're quitting smoking, you're 23 years young. I live in the United States of America, brother. Yeah, you do. <gasps> oh, yeah! Amen, brother. America! USA! 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 You probably have a uh, special interest in your life. Nope. None of them. One of my special interests is Nintendo DS. What's my most important? To do the Nintendo DS. Family, friends, and Nintendo movies, DS. <laughs> Nintendo DS, so sports, or travel. Travel, yeah. I'm gonna feel like a dick, cause like, I definitely, I don't know, like, family's great. I also love my friends a lot. And I do love movies. You do love movies, but... Nintendo DS. No, maybe, maybe he'll make it interesting and like, kinda make references to film a lot. Okay, the sure. Let's you do know? movies, That's yeah. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I love my friends and family more but than I love But this movies. is more important for you, though. This, this process is about you quitting. Yes, thanks. Uh, what's, what's my favorite food? Oh, that's, that's a lot. Vegetables. Lobster, pasta, what are those shoelaces in a bowl? I have to do. Oh God, I love, I love a good steak. Love a good. I love a meat good in sirloin. general. I yeah. love meat. Let's see. Uh, what, what are we doing next? Can you tell me the name of a friend who was a non-smoker? Matt's a non-smoker. There I am. Do you have to draw me? Touch the image that most represents freedom for you, Ryan. Do you want the eagle, the giraffes, the silhouette of the giraffes in front of a nuclear holocaust? Nighttime. All right, nighttime. There you go. I like nighttime. That's that's when you're the most alive, right? Yeah. 
Okay. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about your, addiction. your addiction. Oh fuck, it's getting into specifics. Yeah, it's really it's really you gonna make you many, reveal yourself. How many cigarettes do you smoke per day on average? Be honest. Okay, let me think. On average, I'm just gonna say four. Four cigarettes? Four cigarettes. Okay. Four cigarettes. That sounds right. Four cigarettes a day. Four sticks of tobacco. All right, now tell me how much a pack of cigarettes costs where you live. How it's much like is it in seven California? Something. Jesus Christ, really? Damn. I didn't realize they were that expensive. Well, can you? I'm going to look up the price. What, what, oh, what, what the, the fuck, fuck was dude? that? That's not cool. Jesus. Don't do that shit again. They're like seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Is that before or after tax? Uh, I just put seven fifty. All right, seven fifty. How many years have you been smoking? I've been smoking since I... I haven't been. I'm gonna say okay, 18. So, so 18, 19, five 20, years. So one, two, 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 three. Jesus Christ. Five years. Fuck me, Matt. Oh my God. Five years? Have I really been smoking for five years? Uh oh. <coughs> see, that's what this does. You see, it shows you the reality. Yeah. Thank you. Could thank Alan Carr, man. One last thing before we begin. Who is that Alan Carr at the at the at the table? I have to sign a fucking contract. This is this is a soul binding contract, Ryan. I promise to read all the text in this <laughs> game very carefully to make sure I understand it before continuing and following okay, all the Ryan, instructions. Okay, Ryan. You know for this let's play. Now, if you sign this contract, you have to follow. You have to read it all very carefully because the contract tells you. So people that like us skipping dialogue, sorry, you are out of luck with this series. You can't sign my name, Ryan. That's not legal. That's fraud. Don't write Matt is gay. I already know you're writing Matt is gay. I'm not gay. Stop it. Jesus. Approximately told him circus you smoked since you started. Ooh. That doesn't look like that much. Yeah, it's just a small pile. You could smoke some more. I, I think I don't think I've smoked quite that much because I've taken quit breaks. But haven't there been times where you've smoked more than that? Yeah. So I'd say I'd say I. Gee, ugh. Sure. This is how many you will smoke by the time you die. Is by, the time say by the time you die? You're 85. 85. If you're lucky enough still to be alive. <laughs> I know, that's a huge quantity. That's almost 100,000 cigarettes. Holy shit, This man. is just learning about Ryan's smoking habit, the Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine the impact on your life when you get free. All right, Ryan, what's the impact going to be like? Life will improve. Yeah, I know. I know my quality of life. Oh, I, I signed a contract. You, yeah, you have to read this now shit, Now imagine man. the impact, blah, 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 your quality of life. No, read it loud and clear, rapidly, Ryan. You like signed a contract. I said I would read it, not read it aloud carefully, Matt. Well, Likewise, I think... but also in terms of self-respect, confidence, and freedom. What were you saying? I think what's that... more, all the well, you know, what's more, although you won't believe this now. Sorry, you started talking again. You're about to discover that you'll be losing absolutely nothing, and the Earth is in fact flat. The game slowly transitioned to like a conspiracy theorist game. They're <laughs> they're trying to convince you that the world is flat. Think about it, Ryan. Before we begin, you need to get the following important points clearly in your mind. Got it. Smoking is nicotine addiction. But nicotine is highly addictive. Poison! Poison! Poison, baby! Insecure feeling, which smokers know as I want or need a cigarette. I yeah. know that feeling all too well. Yeah, you do. You know that feeling. I get anxious sometimes. Okay, why is he smoking? Why is the little guy helping us? Uh-oh. Oh. His well-being level went I down. I see, I see. Now he's like, oh. Uh-oh. I'm a little anxious now. If you light one, the nicotine is replaced, and that feeling disappears. Look at the bottom. The empty, insecure feeling returns, and you feel the need for another. Is that true, Ryan? Maybe. I gotta look at Little Monster since my relationship back in 2012 when I started. Man, remember when the world was supposed to end in 2012 and then it didn't? We're tempted to first try a uh, cigarette around blah blah blah. Ryan, you made a contract. Blah blah we're blah tempted, was not in that contract. <laughs> we're tempted to try a first cigarette because people around us are smoking. That was true. I had my first cigarette in the Beezer's parking lot near the <laughs> University of South Carolina campus. I remember my first cigarette. You never forget your first cigarette. You don't. I also had a sandwich I was eating, so it was at like... At the same time? I don't... Well, not at the same time I was smoking. You can't, like, chew and smoke a cigarette at the same time, but... You could put the cigarette in your sandwich. Well, like, and then, like I ate, and then I smoked. And like then you I had a drink to, like, wash it down. Well, you know how some people put, like, chips on their sandwich so they don't have to eat chips on the side? Put cigarettes you could on put the, the sandwich. put the cigarette in, like, light it, stick it in the sandwich, and you got a good, nice combo. Okay. Do we're now done. see how... Ryan, you gotta remember you made a pact with this man. Yeah. I was trying to read it and you just skipped over it. It's not for you though. So stop trying to push your fucking life lifestyle on me, dude. Right. Okay. The I'm trying to help the you. contract was for me, not for you. Yeah, well, I'm trying so to help you. So who cares if you read it or You're not? You're not following it's me not through with your you. contract. You don't smoke, you have a drinking problem. No, I don't. That's why your wife left you, you stupid bitch. 
I'm sorry. Matt, could you uh, start us off with the ceremonial podcast 111 vape? The, re- the reading vape of... Vape rip? Sure, dude. Oh, nothing came out. Hold on a second. Let me you're try fuck, that again. Dude, that you're was... Fuck, you're, you're yeah, really I, fucking I fucked that one up somehow. Give me... Hold on. There. Wow. There it that is. That was something. That was for, something. For episode 111. That's three ones, baby. Three whole ones. That's the number. It looks crazy. It looks insane. I like. To, I want to make like a short animated film about like this dude who starts vaping and all of his friends make fun of him because vaping's funny and you're a tool if you vape. Yeah. And he was just got done. He just got done like smoking like a pack a day and he's really trying to turn his life around. So he buys this new vape and he likes it. So he takes it to work and shows all of his friends and they all start laughing at him. Even his wife's like, oh, what? You you look like a douchebag. And so one stormy night, he chucks it in the garbage, and the screen cracks, because he got one of those fancy ones with a screen. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it flickers and then slowly fades to a death. And then he goes back on his porch with an umbrella and lights up a cigarette. Cut to hospital bed. Ooh. Oh, my God. All because you made fun of vapists. Vapists? Yeah. Why does nobody call people who vape vapists? Where, where else is vapors? Vapor. Like, I like vapists. Vapists. Vapists is great. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Is that like has, has you had to have? That's a, I've never heard vapist before. <laughs> that's great. Should that be the title of this podcast? Vapists. Sure. Just yeah. a couple of vapists. Just a couple of vapists. <laughs> we um, I, I feel like we're just losing subscribers the more we vape and talk about vaping because like now we're out of the ironic phase of it and it's just like yeah dude vaping and it's like everyone's just like you guys yeah. are fucking tools what about it well i just bought one so hopefully i can slow see, down on the cigarette see ryan has a full that story was was related to me no one made fun of me but i'm just i'm just saying you know as a as an author and director such as me um i tend to draw off of life experience to tell my stories and so I used me buying a vape to tell the story at the beginning of the podcast. That was the Ryan McGee uh, biopic. Uh, that's how it ends. That's, this is so uncomfortable. You were about to say something, though. I was about to say, I, uh, let's talk about what happened yesterday when we were in my car. Uh, we were driving <laughs> around, and I was like, hey, I need to park. Let's not hide, let's not hide the fact. We, we were going to get me a vape. We were going to get Ryan a vape. Um, and maybe it was the universe saying, stop it. But uh, It wants me to keep smoking cigarettes. It, it does. There was a diagonal parking spot, and um, I was I was whipping, mm-hmm. I was whipping the whip into the parking spot, and um, a very high like foot tall. It was a, it was a really tall curb, mm-hmm. like incredibly tall curb, and I just overshot it, and I just smashed my car right into the curb. Can I say from my perspective, you pulled into that parking spot pretty fast. I did, and I was like I was like, huh? I was like, you usually you'd, you'd go a little slower. I really did. You pull. like hit the gas to go into it instead of the brakes. Like, did you did you make something up there? I will say that uh, perhaps I did uh, go a little too fast in that parking spot, <laughs> um, and and I just Some smashed. Steam came out. Some I steam. smashed my car into the curb. Your AC's gone, right? Yep. And uh, steam. Where, where's ex- the AC fluid? Out? I don't know. Steam exploded out in of the, the front of my car. <laughs> I, I cracked the front bumper of my car in half, and then steam shot out, and now my AC doesn't work. So if anybody knows, uh, I haven't gotten it, to, I haven't like taken my car in yet, but if anybody can maybe explain what's up so when I take it in, I can explain better. Uh, it was the front right bumper um, underneath the light, and it just shot, on a Honda Civic, and it just shot, shot, <laughs> shot the steam out. Um, should so, have taken uh, my car. Yeah, we should have taken your car, and then that wouldn't have happened. You know, Ryan, if you had just decided to keep smoking cigarettes, that wouldn't have happened. Well, I still smoke cigarettes. Less cigarettes. Less cigarettes. Hey, that's, that's a stat. Less cigarettes, you know? Let me get a, a vape rip Okay, quick. yeah, yeah. Take a, take a vape rip. <laughs> oh, nothing came out. Oh, it's at 85 watts. No. No, 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 no. I don't know. Just, I don't care what's going on with this person. I just finished your fucking game already. All right, I ain't got all day. I'm gonna have to sit here and jewel up a, cl- a storm. Can I have a jewel hit? 
You used mine the other day. I don't know where it is anymore. It's I on my desk, it on dude. My desk. It's on your it's desk. It's on my desk. Yeah. Why'd you? Because you weren't you using your jewel, man. You've used it like once. Give me your jewel. You have your own jewel. Why are you using my jewel? Because mine was dead. Give me your jewel. You better start using yours. Hit. You better start using yours. I deserve a hit. Okay, you can. Well, yeah, you you can have a hit. Absolutely. But you better start using your jewel, man. I'm making my friends jewel by force. Put a gun to your head until you jewel. Until you rip a fat blinker hit on that jewel. Let me get a jewel rip on. <laughs> Welcome back. We're uh, mid map map Matt's vape rip. Not really a vape. It's a jewel. I was hoping that you would let me finish my jewel rip before we started I was the episode. That you let me finish my jewel rip. I see how it is. Two days before the election, and you're just you're pull, pulling out all the straws, dude. I am. I gotta win. I gotta beat this toad. Let's see, dude. And I'm not a toad, turn, first of all. Ass. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, well, let's see. Uh, let's see how far I can get. Can I just like blast through this thing? Like a blast of your mother's Yeah, head. dude, with two, I can I can easily get to where I need to go. Yeah, you didn't win. I didn't win. But we lost together. Yeah. And this just means we'll have to form our own resistance army and rise up against them. <gasps> okay. Yeah, one more jewel hit uh, for the road. Okay. Hold go on. ahead. Yeah, hit that shit, boy. Suck that shit. Yeah, let me, let me get one, too. <coughs> Woo! Tasty. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you want to see us play again, maybe on a different board, we're, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm down to... I love this game. I'm down to do it. St Ow! What the... Stop! Justin, that's your cue to end it. Fucking idiot! You, you know, uh, I, I've always heard this. I don't know how true it is because I've never researched it myself, but I've heard that dip, they put tiny, tiny little bits of fiberglass in it, so when you put it in, it, it makes little microscopic cuts on your gum to get the the dip in to absorb oh, in your God. gum more so there's little bits of Look, fiberglass that wait what i i think that's what i've always been told dip fiberglass although small glass-like particles can be seen this is due to the formation of salt crystals there is no fiberglass in dip the addition of glass to dipping tobacco would be extremely ineffective as a delivery method as bleeding and inflammation would be likely to decrease the intake of nicotine well i'm wrong i've been proven wrong J by google Thank you, Google. But uh, I've still dip. You should not dip. That's I've, that's I've gross. only known one person around my age that I was friends with that tried it once, and they said I've tried it. Like the buzz is just it's, sickening. It's, it's it is gross. it's nauseating. So I, I like had, it's a big buzz you get. From yeah, it. I had friends that uh, I I knew this. My friend's older brother he used to dip, and it was really gross because they he just get an empty water bottle and just spit his dip spit into it. So the water bottle would get filled to the rim with spit, and it was just brown black spit. God, like watching people dip is gross. Yeah, I, I had a uh, like. I I don't know what that buzz is like. I only know what a cigarette buzz is like. It it made me dizzy, and I had it in my mouth for like five seconds before I spit it out and felt like I was gonna throw up. I tried it just to try it, and it was ugh. We should you know. Let's imagine. do a let's play where we just take like we each take <laughs> half a, of dip, half a can of dip, and just chew it in our mouths. No, it's weird. It's nasty. Is it like what does it taste like? It's tobacco. It tastes it just, bad. Just tobacco. Just like. If you if you, it's, if, you, it's, if, you, if it's I just smoky? ate a cigarette, no, it's like smoky and it burns. Oh, it burns really bad. Yeah, or maybe I'm just a pussy. And it's because I was in I was in like ninth grade when I tried it. Yeah, it burns. Burns hmm. really bad. I remember he he didn't want his parents to know he dipped, so he would hide his dip bottles under his bed. Yeah, I was in his room once wearing flip flops, and I my foot went under the bed, kicked over months old bottle of spit. God, and it just went. All in between my toes, That's all so gross. all over my foot, and my flip flop, and uh, yeah, it was it was just congealed dip spit. So well, so chasing a buzz is super important. Mm -hmm. Got to chase that buzz. It's weird. the The reason I actually started smoking, but I started smoking at eighteen, I think. Um, I think that's when I had my first cigarette. But I did it because I smoked weed beforehand, and I'm like, and all of a sudden I had. It was disgusting. It was like a Marlboro Skyline. It was this blue pack. It was gross. And I just remember, this is like this is like a little mini high because the buzz you get from a cigarette. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is like mini weed. This is like Ugh. weed toned down. And and God, it's just so, it was so disgusting. Yeah, I... I, I remember getting super lightheaded you know, I've, from I, the first cigarettes. I have, shit. I have smoked a cigarette before and it, uh, it made me really dizzy and lightheaded. But you smoked it like an idiot. You tried to inhale the whole thing, like you thought you just just sucked it all down. <laughs> yeah, you just sucked it. <laughs> I no, seriously, I don't remember. That was one of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life. There, you, you just thought like, you know, I'll try, I'll try one. I'll see what the big fuss is all sucked about. Sucked it all down, and then I, I just remember 
I just remember sitting there and my world was spinning and I felt like I was going to throw up and like 10 minutes flew by in five seconds. It was, uh, it's not, I don't, I don't recommend, uh, any, anyone out there to, to, to do that. And I don't recommend anyone to use tobacco products. Those are bad for you. They're bad for you. Very bad for you. And I'm sure that there's... They're, they're very addictive. It's, it sucks. I, yeah, it's, it's a hard habit to kick. So I, I recommend people don't even try it. Don't even, cause you know, I don't think anyone that smokes cigarettes is like, ever been like, you know what, I'm going to get addicted to cigarettes. It's always like, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going I'm to try one. I'll try another one. You know, why not? And then you get addicted. So the only pass I think people get is when they start smoking hookah because hookah is like a social uh, thing. Yeah. So we, you and I used to smoke hookah a lot. And I, I've, I've had like three or four hookahs because Daniel it, broke one. Daniel, he shattered that one. Yep. I just remember when I first came out to hang out with you guys for the first time, we did hookah like five nights in a row. Every I, night. I felt like absolute shit. I like what? I but you were the one always asking. You were like, "Are we gonna? Are we gonna hook it up?" Yeah, because it was like it was like I. <laughs> We'd never, always do. Are we gonna hook it up, dude? We're gonna fire up the hook. <laughs> are we gonna fire That's up? That's what the it was. Hook? Was fire. Because no, I would never, I had never like smoked tobacco before. <laughs> yeah. And I, that was like the first time I had felt like a, a buzz, and it, it feels awesome. It feels great. So I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, let's do it again. Let's watch a movie and smoke the hookah. And it's but like thick clouds, so it like it's feels fun. Like you're it's doing fun, shit. and it, it didn't taste bad. And then after like the fourth time, you're just like. Jesus Christ, I'm ready to die. I never want to. I haven't smoked hookah in over a year now because I don't want to. When I think of it, I feel sick, like deep down. Yeah. It makes me feel nauseous because I just remember I would, I would just like do a whole bunch of like hits on the hookah and then I would just have to go lay down because I felt so shitty. I think the, I think it's also way worse for you than cigarettes. One hookah session is, is like, what, like a pack of cigarettes or something like it's that? It's like a ton of cigarettes. So, st- regardless whether, well, whether you're smoking tobacco, shisha, m- marijuana, uh, I guess that's the three that I'm thinking of right now. You're still like burning shit, and it's going in your throat. You're it's still not, like, it's 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 smoke yeah, going it, down your throat, regardless, and so, into your lungs. I mean, yeah. absorbed. So it it's never gonna feel. It's never gonna be good for you. It's never gonna be. You know, there's not a healthier cigarette, I guess. But uh, that's just our, our little word of advice. I'm sure there's people listening to smoking a cigarette right now, and you know what? You do you. You but you. when you're when you when you're you know when you're on your deathbed, you'll say, "Man, I should have listened. I should have listened to Matt and Ryan. Should have listened to them." But you guys have a cigarette on your podcast. Thing. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. In the drawing, there's well, that's for for the smoke effect. It looks cool. It's something some, to look at. For some ambiance. You, you need something moving to to look at, just so you can just kick back and just watch it. And smoke is a good. It's a good thing to look at. You know. And if you need some lore to help you, kind of pick out a reason for that cigarette to be there be like ryan used to smoke cigarettes there you go it's and, symbolic and he just lacks the smoke he just lacks the smell of the cigarette smoke he that's, likes that's it. weird with people people who've had parents that uh smoke cigarettes i'd always apologize and be like sorry if i pulled out a cigarette and they'd be like no i don't mind i actually like the smell no of smoke. i love the smell of cigarettes i don't know why people, i love i it. don't like the smell I only like the effect. I like, um... I'm kind of the opposite. Really? I love the smell of cigarettes. Like, going into a house where someone smokes, or going into a, like, I it love... It seems so cheap to me whenever I smell smoke around. It, it does, but at the same like, time, dirty. it's like, I like that for some reason. I love the way, I love the way cars that, you know, someone owned that smoked in. I really like the way cars smell that people yeah. have smoked in. I don't know why, because I, I know, it, like, it does feel kind of dirty, mm-hmm. but I, I get this, like, weird nostalgia, because neither of my parents smoked as My a kid. mom did. She's quit, actually. But oh, she good. smoked for large portion of her life. Yeah, like um, I, so I, uh, I, I just grew up with that. Yeah, well, I had one of my best friends. His parents smoked, so maybe it takes me back to like sleeping over at his house, like nostalgia. Yeah. of that smell. But I, my dad likes the smell of of tobacco too. So maybe it's a genetic thing, liking the smell of tobacco. It just gives me a weird nostalgia, even though my parents, my family, never smoked. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. But uh, I just know when I turned eighteen, uh, Daniel and a bunch of our friends. Uh, we had a just this, I guess, group that we all went to the same college or just we all lived in the same area, blah, blah, blah. This is probably freshman year of college, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we'd all we'd all turn 18 by then. And so we'd go to the cigar. Uh, I did the uh, same place. thing. Yeah. And like for I we did it multiple times. Like I'd get a uh, a glass Coke and a cigar, one of the better tasting ones. Yeah. Just sit out there and just puff puff at it well you don't inhale cigar smoke right no, it's simply just no. for the taste some people inhale cigarellos just Ugh. because yeah those are always so nasty to me especially like the scented ones like cherry and or vanilla yeah I hate that smell like uh i remember when i was in college my friends and i uh my friend jackson and christian what we do is at the end of every semester we'd get cigars and we just go down by these train tracks and smoke like a cigar together 
And um, the first time I did, I didn't know you weren't supposed to like inhale, so I just inhale oh, it, and I was like, God. Oh, that, uh, that had to burn, like, dude, it felt awful. It, 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 it's almost like getting the breath knocked out of you. Yeah, it just burned, and I was like, and I wanted to go brush, and I brushed my teeth two times after that, and I could still taste it. That's the worst part about smoking a cigar. I, I, it does not come I, out of your clothes. I didn't your... do it after the age of eighteen, just because like we all grew out of it. Yeah, it's, no it's a very, to. it's like a novelty thing. You do it on a celebration or you do it because you just turned 18. I did it when I turned 18 because it's yeah. like, oh, well, you know, I just I kind of have to buy a lottery ticket and a cigar. It's yeah. kind of what it's it's like a rite of passage. But every every time we go to the I guess cigar merchant or whatever it was, the tobacco merchant, um after after a night of smoking a cigar, I'd wake up and I just I'd still kind of have taste this it. taste it. It would be on me. It's very thick. It was I remember having to wake up for food line in that state. And that was pro those were the worst mornings having to wake up at like five or six a.m. to go to work at food lion to deal with customers as I like just just imagine waking up. Just, ah, oh, ew. Uh, just well, this. can't wait to go uh, spend all day at food line and probably take someone's shift because they want to leave early because they want to hang out with their boyfriend. Fucking asshole. Cigars like I, I don't I like the smell of cigars, but <coughs> the taste is is just something completely different it, yeah. it, and it's not a good taste no i just don't see the enjoyment out of it because i it's what like dictators smoke like castro and you don't stuff, get a just... do you get a buzz from it or anything i don't remember getting a buzz or anything. i just remember I it's, it's like it's the like taste a... and just like hanging out with the boy it's like it's oh. like a class thing i guess it's yeah. like this is classy smoke a cigar yeah ryan you know what we should do what let's you know from now on every podcast let's just smoke cigars ew Let's just sit. Let's let's bring cigars into the Grumps recording room without their permission and just light up cigars and smoke cigars the whole time. Yeah, dude, if we did that in here, that this this couch, this room, probably never get that smell out. And Aaron would be so mad, <laughs> rightfully so, because yeah. making that room smell like shit. My my dad, one of the rules with uh, the cars, because eventually he found out that I was smoking cigarettes. He's like, "Don't smoke in the car, or else you're gonna s stink up the car, and it's gonna be harder to." Sm like sell yeah well it's really hard to get the cigarette smell out like for some you and just it can't, stains some shit too mm -hmm, you cannot get that smell out of cars usually it's yeah like usually to get the smell of cars i think you have to change like all the seats and you have to change the you know the carpets and stuff mm -hmm. and it's gross because when you actually smoke indoors it'll go into the walls and it's isn't there a picture of like someone's grandmother or something like smoked every day and all yeah of a sudden when she died you could see kind of like an outline of the couch yeah i saw it on reddit where she she would like smoke on her laptop every day yeah where she'd lean up against the wall and it was just an outline of a person because the rest of the wall was yellow and where she was was lighter because she smoked there for like 20 years just always sitting there reading her on the computer in the same spot so it was just lighter there which is really gross because that means like all that shit was just sinking into the walls so they would have to like actually remove all the wallpaper to get that smell out and probably scrub the walls so there's like two things that started just making me kind of gag a little bit after uh smoking for a while um, of course that would be the dry smoke. I'd always have to have something to drink, but Ugh. it would, um, Cigarette's it was so gross. when I would get down to the end of it, I'd look at the filter, Yeah. turn the, you know, the filter would be yellow. Yeah, it's like, all yellow. It's second. like, that's going in your lungs. And Ugh. then you do that experiment with the water bottle. Which yeah. Is, I, I did that once it, where like, you take, you take a water bottle and you take the lid and you cut a hole in it and you stick a cigarette in and you put a paper towel in between the lid and the bottle and you fill the bottle up with water. And you light the cigarette, like you stick it in the hole in the top and you light it. And then you cut a hole in the bottom of the bottle so it sucks all the water out, which sucks the entire cigarette into the bottle. And then you take it off and you... Thank you, Ryan. And then you take it off and you look at the... <laughs> you look at the paper towel and it's just like black from all the shit that goes through. So that goes in your lungs when you smoke. So guys, uh, don't do that. That's gross. What's going on in your lungs? That's smoke rude. responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's such thing. As Smoke with an adult over the age of 18. No, actually, in California, it's 21. It's 21, yeah. So, uh, guys, smoke responsibly, you know? <laughs> just do it. Just just do it. Just be, be safe about it. Be safe about smoking cigarettes, you Mixing know? Nike's athleticism with uh, good old tobacco. Just do it. <laughs> uh, for people to try out. Pick at the rainbow? How nope. are you picking up clouds? It's Ryan. water vapor. Stop. You don't know that. Have you ever touched a cloud? Nope. So yes, how do you know? I have. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. Only clouds I'm touching are when I'm ripping a fat vape. <laughs> Yo, dude, after this episode's over, let's go celebrate by getting some premium e-liquid for our vape pins. Yes! Sound good? Yes. They have, a, they have Fruity Pebbles flavored. Nice, dude! They got a cotton candy? A fresh it's, Christmas Fruity turkey? Pebbles taste good. In a vape? Fruity Pebble tastes good! Alright, look at me, dude. 
Whoa, look how big I am. Holy shit. When's the last time you vaped, Matt? I vaped in the last week. Have you? Yeah. You always vape when you go back home. No, I don't. Yes, I do, actually. That's yeah, true. you do. No, uh, no, it's my, my, uh, my, my brother-in-law had a vape, so I, I took a rip off of it. It was epic. And then I found, I was cleaning my room, and I found an old vape pen that I bought, ironically, with some friends, and then I took a huge rip off of that thing. Boy, I got a crazy buzz. Uh, I could hear panties dropping from miles around. Pretty cool stuff. Why don't you get a vape? People have been saying that in the comments that I saw on that thing. You should. It's and a good. You it's mentioned a good, it. I think it's a good way to uh, to quit but smoking. I just don't want to be that guy. Well, I you don't, don't have to do it in public. I guess. There's I just, a difference between vaping to look cool and vaping to help with a nicotine addiction. Just whenever I see a, a, a I get the a fucking cloud. Vaping. Like I see a cloud just burst out from somewhere random. I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's how it is. Like you'll, you you'll never be in public. You never see a... the person first. You always see just a puff of cl like just a cloud of smoke puff out like vigorously. A beautiful white billowing <laughs> cloud. You're like, where did that come? In? You know exactly what that is. It comes out of a car. It comes out from some side street or some shit. I always see it like at a stoplight. I'll just see the car in front of me in a huge, <laughs> beautiful cloud just. <laughs> that, the, vaping, like you can make some cool clouds with that stuff. Like I know I sound so uncool right now. Okay, but vaping is fun. You have to admit it's fun. Like blowing. blowing I used those to. I used clouds. to have a vape. Like I, I used to legitimately have a vape. We vaped it together in Colombia mm -hmm. in the car at the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot or Krispy Kreme or whatever. Remember that? Holy fuck! Yeah, that was like a late at night when I was like, "Hey, I'm not. I'm not tired." And I was like, "Yeah, pick me up." And then you showed me your vape, and we vaped in a parking lot. It was nice. Yeah, that we was got nice. some donuts. We got some donuts. We vaped a little bit. Or was the donut place closed? Did we actually? Were we actually able to get no, donuts? No, that place is open twenty four seven. Okay, so we got some donuts. Sweet. We, we vaped a little bit, but damn. I want to vape. Ryan, if it makes you feel better, I'll get a vape too. And I'll 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 get the type that's just the smoke. And I'll every time you want to vape, I'll rip a fat cloud with you so you're not alone. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about just we to make just to make me feel shit. better, you have to wear like those fucking sick sports glasses. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you were gonna say those before you even said it. I knew exactly what you were talking about. I'll wear those and I'll do, we can just, our, our apartment, you open that door, buddy, it's gonna be like you're walking into just like the a massive like smoke machine you're gonna be walking inside a fog machine you're not gonna see anything the moment you open the door but white thick clouds of white i would love to see like a fucking music video where like this like the bars coming in and they're like dude dude when it drops the dude rips the vape and the smoke comes out but then the smoke turns into him and then he starts rapping as this like s smoke man smoke man <laughs> Right. I would love to see that. Why don't? Why don't? That would be like, no, but like the video would have to be done right. Like it would have to be a self-aware music video. It can't be done. That's like, not true. Like it can't be like a Logan and uh, what? It, it can't be like the Paul Brothers music videos where they're kind of like unaware of their right, you're telling of that me that, stuff. Well, that, that's under the impression that vaping's not cool. You gotta. Well, why don't like? Why do you think someone can't vape in a music video and still look cool? Because a hookah's better, bro. Yeah, but hookah's like a hundred times worse than cigarettes. Uh, yeah. A vape is just beautiful water vapor. Sit in a hookah lounge with your buddies. Hookah's fun, but I, I can do it like once a year because... We used to do it every day. Yeah, we used to do it like every night. Every fucking night with my glass hookah. Daniel broke like two of my hookahs. I remember that. What I remember is uh, I, I didn't know how bad hookah was for you, and we just did it for like two weeks straight every night, and... Honestly, because of that, I've gotten to sick this of day, it. I don't want to do it anymore. Same. Like, it burned me out because it was so... I, I could still taste the charcoal and, like... But you were addicted to it for the longest time. Oh, God, yeah. Because you were like, dude, why don't we fire up the hook? It was fun, just watching a movie and firing up the hook. And, like, just bl blowing some fucking smoke. Yeah, because the hook that you got, you could blow these crazy clouds. But we can <laughs> do that and not harm ourselves with a vape. Whoa! God, hookah just always... I always felt like shit after doing hookah. It's just like, yeah. I feel like it takes every cell in my body and like Put me sucks to bed. it. Because yeah. it makes you just fucking buzzed Ugh. as shit. And then you just feel like garbage. Good food. Exod is good. It's... What nice. Did I just spill? That was my vape. Sorry about that. Dude. <laughs> Knocked over my vape, guys. Oops. Gotta stop that, bro. What were we saying about Exod, though? Okay, cool. Hey, Matt. Yeah. Odds are we go get some more fucking vape juice today. Dude, for our vapes? Yeah. For our vape rigs? For our vape rigs, bro. Okay, uh, ten. One, two, three, four. Six! I guess we're not getting any vape juice today, dumbass. Okay, 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 you do me now. Okay, what are the odds we gotta go get some new vape juice today? Uh, two. <laughs> three, two, one, two! two. Oh! It's like the lamest 
what are the odds I've ever done? Dude, what are the odds you get some new juice for your vape? <laughs> All right, we might as well. But come as long clean. as as long as we were self aware about it, right? Might as well come clean. Ryan and I both bought vapes. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that out there ahead of time, just so I don't know. So I doesn't feel like I'm hiding anything from my viewers. Or we your bought mom. vapes. Your mom and dad are gonna disown you. They're not. My parents love vaping. All they do is vape. My mom vaped the moment I was born. She would. <laughs> oh, you yeah. were vaping out the pussy, dude. I came out with like smoke. Whoa, dude, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, um... It was like opening up a science experiment in a movie. It just went... Whoosh, like it fogged over. <laughs> Birth of American Let's Player Matthew Watson. <laughs> just this shiny fucking... God moment. Shiny, just, I thought you were gonna say goblin moment. Goblin shiny moment. fucking goblin moment. <laughs> but, hey, hey, we didn't get vapes for no reason. Ryan's trying to, you know, he's trying to be healthy. He's trying to quit smoking. Trying... Mm. So I said, I, I, I said, <laughs> this will help you if you get a vape. And I'll get one too, so you don't feel like, because you know, if he's vaping by himself, he's gonna look like a jackass. So I said, all right, you need a partner in crime. You wanted it. You wanted to vape, you fucking prick. No. Don't, don't, don't say, I did it for the good of my friend. You, the whole time you were in there, you're like, dude, I might get a vape. Dude, if I can dude, use that excuse, though, I'm gonna use that excuse. <laughs> you're gonna use I'm that not excuse. gonna come out and say, yeah, I wanted a vape. Because you don't even put any nicotine in it. You just like blowing no, clouds. The vape I got has no nicotine. <laughs> you it's, just, pure, it's pure vapor. You just like blowing the smoke. It's fun, dude. You gotta admit, regardless of the stigma around vapes, blowing some big clouds of billowing beautiful smoke is fun as fuck. That's why going to a hookah bar is fucking off the heezy. Except when you go to a hookah bar, you're absorbing tar and shit into your lungs. Who cares? Who cares? When you can get a bigger cloud with that pure, tasty cotton candy vape. Yeah, but has enough research been done to actually prove that they aren't that damaging? Have they well, re regardless, it's better for you than a hookah. Yes. The so, hookahs are still a good pastime. Well, regardless, nothing you put it like you can't breathe something in your lungs and be healthy. Like, just it's not good for you, regardless. But I, uh, uh, what about no, that's crack? that's about slowly crack cocaine. No, I was about to be sarcastic and be like, oh, yeah, what about carbon dioxide and oxygen? Then I'm like, no, that's slowly killing us. Oxygen, yeah. What if what if humans could live to be like a thousand, but oxygen is just slowly poisonous? Just it is, it is slowly poisonous if Ryan, you, you if you think about it. No, if you think about it. Oxygen is like kind of aging our the outside world, right? How so? Isn't that just what it does? Like just the general atmosphere like nothing's gonna last long just because of the way it is because of oxygen? Yeah now how, how the how the F does that work Ryan? I'm gonna look it up. Explain me the science of that one. <sighs> I'm not your science teacher, Matt Well, don't come spewing science and then not have the facts. To don't back come it up. spewing lies about how you want to help your good friend Ryan stop smoking when all you wanted to do was develop a stupid vaping habit because you like blowing little cumulus it's clouds. It's not a vaping habit. I can't get addicted to it. There's no nicotine. It's just you can pure... get addicted to something if it's if if it's not inherently like addictive. Mm, no. It's all about like uh, if it has a positive kind of uh, feeling on your brain. Yeah. Which it does. When I rip those clouds off my vape, it feels amazing. It's so much fun. And the stuff I got is Apple Jacks flavor. How cool is that? We breathe air that is 21% oxygen, and it's we like require oxygen nitrogen. to live, so you might think that breathing 100% oxygen would be good for us, but actually it can be harmful. So the short answer is pure oxygen is generally bad and sometimes toxic. When you inhale, uh, the, it can f fill with something. It's because, uh, it's weird because people think of us as breathing oxygen, but it's like- carbon dioxide. Right? No, it's, uh, nitrogen. We breathe out carbon dioxide. Yeah. most of what we breathe in is nitrogen, and then a mix of other shit. <gasps> Central nervous system oxygen toxicity can cause seizures, brief periods of rigidity, followed by uh, convulsions and unconsciousness, and is of concern to divers who encounter greater than atmospheric pressures. That's scary, man. That's scary. I mean, man, diving is just something that seems fun, but I have no interest in because of how easy it is for some something to go wrong. And you're like deep in the ocean. It's like I don't. Ugh. That's why you just play uh play Grand Theft Auto Five and go for a swim. Yeah, just do that. It's you don't need to go experience the ocean. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, Matt! Another episode of the Super Mega Cast is episode 110, and I'm gonna start off with a nice little uh, intake of the vape. You're and gonna, then, and then you can introduce whatever whatever you want to introduce. You're gonna vape. I'm actually thinking of legitimately getting one. I'm getting tired. I'm getting really sick of smoking. Like, it's, dude, you should. Like this one in particular is really. It's it, it was cheap too. 
Well, yeah, people, people are. We're gonna lose all of our subscribers because we're just, we just look like losers with the, with vapes now. Well, I need to legitimately stop smoking. So I, I, I can I'm do. the loser. You're not. You're not a loser because <laughs> you've been smoking for years. So you're not a loser. <laughs> I've been I'm smoking a, since I was 18. I am a straight up loser for just straight for vaping for, for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> just like yeah, I'm gonna start vaping. You know, it's like I'm a dumbass. Like, but I mean, when when you first came out here, we we had a huge hookah phase. God, we did. We smoked that. We smoked every that thing night. Like, Remember, it was so bad it, it, for us. It would be a it would be a thing where was it you or Daniel who came up with are we firing up the hook? That was me. That was let's, you. Let's, let's fire up the hook, boys. And then we just all three just sit in our apartment, like order a shit ton of food, and like I don't know what we, we would just watch. watch Netflix and then just <laughs> smoke the hookah. God damn! Can, think about how bad that shit was for us. I know. Okay, apparently like one hour of hookah is like sixty cigarettes. So hey, we, it was good while we were doing it. We were just like. Oh. I remember one night you, I, uh, you, you were getting into it. I fucking too. I would suck the shit out of that hookah. Oh yeah. I, I uh God, I, I I took one massive rip off. I was like, guys, watch this. I'm gonna do a really big one. And this is before I realized that like too much nicotine doesn't feel good. And you need to be hydrated because yeah. it dehydrates you. And I just went for like ten seconds and then I was like, Ooh, oh <laughs> and then I had to go lay down because like was I, one of those I, moments where it's Yeah, everything like I got like tunnel vision <laughs> and uh everything started going like like black and white like monochromatic <laughs> and I got up off the couch and I got like the little white flickers and sparkles all over my vision and I stumbled into Daniel's bedroom and then I just like fell onto the bed face first <laughs> and I just laid there for like 30 minutes trying not to throw up it was bad nicotine is not fun guys it's not fun at all especially when you're addicted to it I just uh, uh yeah High five, dude. We're both addicted to nicotine. Isn't that fucking sweet? You got I got yourself had, I, addicted because you got yourself a fucking jewel. I don't jewel anymore, though, guys. No, but that's how you got addicted to it. You just bought a jewel for no reason. I know. I well, I did it for the meme of it, and I fuck, I fucked myself up. But at least I'm vaping. That's. I mean, it's not the worst it could be. You know like, how I, I got into cigarettes? How'd you get into cigarettes? I got into cigarettes because it was advertised as, like, a small dose of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, oh, I want to smoke marijuana. Kind of, yeah, because in South Carolina, marijuana is just hard to... Like, I mean, it's not hard to come by, but it's not, there's, stores don't sell it. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. you can't say the word bong in a smoke shop, right? Right. There's, there's a certain stigma around it in South Carolina. So, I, I actually had weed before I had cigarettes, <gasps> and then someone offered me a cigarette and goes, it's like a mini high, dude. And I went, Pfft. and also when I got that buzz, I was like, whoa, it is like a mini that was the beginning. And that the was end. the beginning with the uh, Marlboro Skylines. Ooh, that was the beginning, <laughs> Menthol, dude. Menthol, man. Ryan, Ryan's first puff of a cigarette. Like, Ooh, that's minty. It actually tastes good, too. Because I hated the taste of, uh, like, pipes and stuff. Well, the cigarettes taste smoked disgusting. Out of. Well, see, well, not men well, menthol to me. Well, okay, it was better than, like, smoking out of a pipe. Because you know how pipes, like, just... Just tobacco tastes nasty. It's like well, I was uh, talking about more weed. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's doesn't too. yeah. It tastes really bad. I don't think there's anything you smoke that tastes good. It's just like a burnt nasty. I mean, vape tastes fine. I mean, I got I got Apple Jacks flavor and I got lychee flavor. That's, See, uh, you can you can have all your little kitty flavors. Now. I know. And, and that, look at this. It's that's it's, how you get addicted. You had a jewel with like fruit flavor. It, it was fruit medley. And nicotine and what smoking a whole pod is like smoking a pack or something? No. One pod <laughs> is two hundred cigarettes oh worth of nicotine. God. That's how I got How many pods have you had? That's how I got it. How many pods did you have? Um to be honest, don't don't fudge it. I probably went through in my whole jeweling phase twelve pods. So twelve times two hundred. So you smoke two thousand four hundred cigarettes? Worth of nicotine, yeah. That's a lot. I did right? math on that, right? Tw uh, I right two hundred cigarettes, twelve pods. Twelve times two is twenty four. Yes, twenty four. Mm -hmm. So two. So basically, that's how I got so addicted to nicotine. Was just in that one month period, it was like smoking <laughs> two thousand four hundred <laughs> cigarettes. You know how so, long it takes me to smoke two thousand four hundred. How am I not gonna get addicted to nicotine <laughs> when I was like when it when it's that much nicotine? What are, is Jules supposed to be like the safe way to? No, to it's, smoke? no, it's no. Just, what is what is it? No, what I'm I'm I guess I'm asking what is it advertised as? It's just a cool little device that gets you a buzz. That's all it is. It just. It's not like some safer alternative. In fact, I think it's way worse than regular vaping. That's why I switched over to a vape because I want to quit. So I want to low because with vape juice you can like lower the nicotine content. So I can just keep lowering it down until I'm at zero, and that's my plan. But like with the Juul, um, dude, I I I would say if if it's a that's why at I can't the worst, quit. dude, I 
I don't even smoke that many cigarettes in a year. Yeah, don't get a jewel. <laughs> you smoked that in how long? Like a month and a, a half. A month? You smoked like a year's worth of cigarettes in a month. Years worth of nicotine. Nicotine. Because cigarettes, that bat, <laughs> they get the tar die. in you. Yeah. But like jewel, uh, one of the things I noticed about smoking a jewel was like every now and then, I don't know if it would like concentrate and then like fire out, but I remember I'd, I'd do like one small hit and it would hit me so hard that like everything would be spinning. I'd have to like lay down. It's it's not fun. Jewels suck. Jewels are big. I went back home and like some of my friends were using jewel. Like I was like, hey, anybody want to go out? Like I feel like this old man that's that's attached himself to cigarettes and people are moving to vaping and jeweling and shit. It's the future of smoking. I feel I feel like an old fogey with my cigarettes. Get yourself a vape, dude. This one was like not expensive. Welcome back to another episode of Vape Out. We're here. Because I fucking love this game. I love playing it and I think everyone uh, should support this game because it's fun. And there's arcade mode, so there's a lot of replayability. Ooh, you could tell like a lot of passion went into this. Like a lot of, uh, you know, just like Intelligent, they about the style. fun creativity went into this game. Well, okay, so one, two, three. I like how they're all like fucking album covers. That's so cool. Because the music is so in tune. You get cymbal <laughs> crashes whenever people go boom. That rhymes. <coughs> That's another compilation someone should make. Like what? Super Mega Coughing Fits compilation. There are a lot more. Remember, I started coughing a lot more when my smoking. Dude, you've actually been great lately. Like you have, like I remember there, during the peak of your smoking, you would like hack your lungs up sometimes. <laughs> but like during during recording, but like you rarely cough now. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, so an atomic bomb just got dropped into <laughs> these people. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Oh, are you seriously smoking again? <sighs> yeah, this game's stressing me out. It's hard. Really, dude? It's about quitting smoking, though. Yeah, it's just. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're playing 11 new games, something, something, then be able to get free. Alright, you're gonna get free, man. The graphic below illustrates the process we will go through in order to remove the various- <gasps> The various what? Oh, what is it? Oh, I'm gonna press it! I'm gonna press, press it! it! Satisfying. The last puff. Oh boy, sophisticated. Oh, because it's like you see them in movies all the time, don't you, Ryan? Because you love movies. Yeah, right. Smoking's cool, big just like you fuck. Could be. You like fucking movies, you big fucking goon. Watch you smoke cigarettes, it'll make you real cool. You'll remove this brainwashing. I already know that, like, like I get this, but that doesn't change the fact that seeing someone smoke makes me want a cigarette. That's not because they look cool while smoking a cigarette. It's because they're smoking a cigarette, and I want a cigarette. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. pretty fucking simple. Ryan, hold on. Lay off my fucking boy Alan Carr for a second, and realize that you're not even halfway into this journey, and you're criticizing this shit. <laughs> okay, Carry okay. on. I don't want to hear another word out of you like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Dude, I, I, you really got, you really got emotional there. Yeah, cause you're cutting things down before you even giving them a try. <laughs> okay, we'll see you. I got some more mini games. Look at that. Two steps on the path to freedom, Ryan. He's cutting a bunch of giant cigarettes off from his hot balloon. His hot his balloon. Hot balloon. <laughs> his big old hot balloon. Hot balloon. I like that. <laughs> hey, you guys want to go for a hot balloon ride? <laughs> okay, baby. Look at that. Illusion removal. I like the taste. If you've never smoked a cigarette, viewers, uh, first, you shouldn't. And second, uh, they taste really bad. Ryan, would you, would you even think about tasting one of the dishes you just cooked in the previous game? I might try it just to try it. Well, how is that? How is... How is... <laughs> No! Ryan, you told Just me- Just like I wouldn't eat a fucking cigarette! It's like, what is this lesson? Yeah. Yes, I know cigarettes are gross, but you do it anyways because you're addicted! You skipped the best thing. He said, you like meat. Do you need to carry meat with you to avoid panicking? That's not the same thing, Ryan. bro. He's trying to help you quit smoking, and you're just calling him out and, and making fun of him. <laughs> He's got a stupid- You're gonna get our viewers to smoke, because they see you're not taking it seriously! <laughs> I'm just- I just- This game- I don't see how it's supposed to stop me. Look, I'm I'm I've only played three out of the eleven games, so look, man. I just there might not be any hope for you, man. I'm just okay. It's a social prop. Oh, cause it looks cool. No, it's, it's, it's so a lot of cool. people smoke socially. See, smoking used to be considered a sociable habit, but now it's disgusting and anti. -social. No, it's not. A lot of people still smoke socially. Yeah, a lot of people. All do. of my friends smoke socially. But it still is disgusting and can be antisocial depending on the situation. Yeah, but he's like acting like 
times have changed. Ryan. Smoking used to be fucking awesome. I think you're enabling your, now your addiction. Now it sucks. This sounds like the speech of an enabler. Forced outside for their... No, it's nice Ryan, to get... It's listen nice. to what you're doing. You're enabling it because this is a, this is a thing of addiction. Would you're, I rather be stuck you're trying inside to all day or would I rather get a breath of fresh air? I'm going to get a breath of fresh air. But you don't have to smoke. Of course I don't, but I do. See, Ryan, this is what, it, this is what addicts do. But it says you're, you're enabling forced him. outside. You just go outside, it feels nice to get outside, stretch a bit. But when you go outside every day, what's the reason? I'm antisocial, I don't need people all the time. Ryan. You need to be okay with you're yourself every once in a while. You're justifying things. Alright, you got third. So which means I just did awful. Yeah. yeah I'm a smoker, what am I supposed breaks. to do, dude? Quit smoking. Uh, no. Damn! Woo! I've always been very sociable, and gone out a lot to meals, drinks, and parties, where I smoked like a chimney. <laughs> I was frightened of stopping because I thought I would never be able to enjoy those situations again. When I quit at Alan Carr's clinic, it was a revel. He has his he has fucking clinics now. Yeah, dude. I mean, he's 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 a billionaire. I immediately I enjoyed them. Okay, why is everyone from England in this game? Is this did we did we choose the the English version by accident? Oh, I chose America. Fuck yeah. What's going on? All right, four steps on your path to freedom, Ryan. <sighs> I guess, okay. uh, I guess we'll end this episode here. In the next one, we'll, uh, we'll we'll watch Ryan climb the ladder to freedom even more. Sure. That doesn't sound like you want to climb the ladder to freedom. Ryan, do you not want to do this? No. You don't want to quit smoking? No. Why? I don't it's wanna, killing you! I You're gonna wanna, die! I don't want to play this game. It's making- it's helping you quit, though! You drink alcohol, and alcohol's bad for you! Fred, that- I'm not addicted to alcohol. Are though. you sure? Positive. You, you drink more and more each time, I, Matt. I have not had a drink in over a week. But when you do drink, you go a little overboard. Now you're just getting personal. I just know losing your wife kind of put a damper on things. Yeah, dude. All right, round two. You got some points, though. Look at that. Damn, dude. 250 points. Holy fucking shit. It's not bad. This game is breaking me. Why is it breaking you? It's not fun. Ryan. I thought quitting smoking would be fun. This makes me want to go have a cigarette. Ryan, that's not good. I don't want to watch him. I don't want to watch him again. We'll fast forward it. Here we go. Can I? Zip. There we go. What happened? Ryan, you stop smoking while I get my teeth done. <laughs> Hold on, dentist. <laughs> I have to take a break to smoke. I gotta crash through the wall into the other dentist room and smoke a cigarette. Instead of the dentist, instead of him telling you to rinse your mouth out with water, he says, go take a smoke break and come back in. <laughs> no, Ryan, the door was over there. Why'd you break through the wall? Are you gonna pay for that? Uh, the empty, insecure feeling of the body withdrawing from nicotine feels the same as normal stress. Smokers believe cigarettes relieve stress because when they light up, they feel more relaxed. This is why they think of the cigarette as a crutch or benefit, but they are just partly relieving the stress caused by their nicotine withdrawal. The only stress a cigarette can relieve is the stress caused by the previous cigarette. Look at the two meters below. Representing the final stress levels of you and your friend in the game. As you can see, Matt doesn't experience the additional stress of nicotine withdrawal that you suffer from. This leaves them better able to deal with the normal and inevitable stresses and strains of life, such as a dental appointment. That's one of the biggest stresses in my life, man, is a dental Dentist appointment. Dentist appointment? Fuck, dude. On a colorless version, try to obtain a perfect match. Let's play it, dude. This game is the same feeling I would get if I smoked three packs of cigarettes back to back. <laughs> Alright, Ryan. Memorize okay, that color red, pattern. Blue, orange. Blue, red, orange, yellow. Yeah, I got it. Alright. I'm, uh, I'm removing the training wheels on this one. I'm letting you do it. Okay. Okay. Watch this. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. Wait, it was... Was it... No, 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 no. No. No, no. What are you doing? He's just rearranging him. He's, he's trying to throw you off, man. <sighs> See, Give we'll me see. yellow. Right? Fuck! Damn it! It's it. cause I'm a smoker, dude! <laughs> you can't remember it? Hey, you got 69% though. That's that's a good laugh, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Thank you, no! Why do I still have my fucking shirt off? Oh shit, this one's hard. No, this one's gonna be easy, dude. Alright. I promise, bro. Alright, Ryan. This shit's gonna be fucking easy as nuts. The t <laughs> easy as nuts? Easy as fucking nuts, dude. The training wheels are off once again. I got it. Right. I'm gonna get 100% on this okay. shit. Okay, alright. Ready? Yep, go for it. Okay. 
Okay, see that? Yep, I'm watching. Got to get those. I got red. Okay. All right. And no, then, I actually um, don't even really remember. And this was like this. So it's uh, it's all you. Then I'm just gonna guess the middle was all yep. Fuck oh, you. He's moving that shit around. Dude. He's making it harder for you to concentrate. Watch he's this. Shifting everything around. Boom, Damn, baby! Dude, look at you go. One hundred nice. fucking percent. One hundred percent, Ryan. I'm proud of you. Shows you a smoker can't do what normal non-smokers like yourself can't do. Uh, yeah. I'm Ryan. actually thinking about it now. This would, the game would be ten times more depressing if it was like an Alcoholics Anonymous DS. One hundred percent. Which I'm sure that exists. Like you actually like they're. Oh, okay. oh, oh shit. shit! Shit! Yeah, memorize that. Um, I got it. I got it. You sure? I got it. All right. I got it. All right, Ryan. It's all me. Ready for this? Yeah, let's see it. All right, you're filling in these little small ones first. I actually forgot, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. I don't... I, I did not really pay attention, so... I need I'm, this. I'm, I'm in the dark on this one as well. I know it's this. Okay. Oh, man. And then it was, uh... Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, no! It was close. Yeah. I just forgot close. the green. What'd I get? You got 78%. That's fine. It's good. It's, it's, pa it's, well, it's not passing, but, it, well, it's yeah, it fine. is. It's passing. It's not failing. To concentrate, you need to get rid of distractions. Did you notice how the nicotine? Yeah, go, go, oh. Click that. Monster kept distracting you by moving the pots in the last game? Well, he's subtly doing the, gotta click the. Same things in, in real life. As a smoker, you have the distraction of the body withdrawing from nicotine and the mind craving a cigarette. When you light up, Ryan, you relieve these and can concentrate better. But non-smokers do not have these distractions in the first place. In fact, you'll concentrate better and for longer periods when you're free. Cool. <laughs> what the fuck? What did they get these pictures, man? Yeah, like, I why did it. he choose not to why did he choose not to smile for that? Yeah. That looks like a mugshot of someone that got arrested for a DUI. <laughs> it's like at this point we get it. You like being butt fucked by Alan Carr. Do you now understand that smoking only reduces the distraction created by nicotine itself and doesn't help you concentrate at all? None of this is like worries that I have. Because I understand it's an all negative effects. But then the question arises. Why does the smoking continue? Cause I like it. <laughs> I know. I can't help it. It's like you know you know all the bad things about it, but I don't give a shit. That's bad though, cause that's your health. It's like I do care, but it's like I'd rather have a cigarette than worry about it. That's bad. Of course it is. You're gonna it's die. an addiction. You're gonna die early. Okay. What's gonna go first? My lungs or your liver? Ryan, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> Last time I drank was eight days ago, and it was a Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> One Mike's Hard Lemonade? Don't you mean ten Mike's Hard Lemonade? I did lemonades? not have ten Mike's Hard Lemonade. What were all those cans in your room? I couldn't take I a step. I have no cans in my room. I, I You're gaslighting me. I couldn't take a step in your room without stepping on a can. <laughs> all night, I just heard a bunch of cans flying around your just room. Just one by one. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw them from your bed. There's a sea of cans in your room, dude. Imagine that. I just lay in bed and I just crack, like I drink a beer, throw it on my floor, drink a beer, throw it on my floor. I don't know what it's doing. It relieves boredom. That's what they're saying. It relieves boredom. Oh shit. Stella, Stella's right outside the window. I don't have my shirt on. I hope she doesn't look in here. Okay. Sorry. Did she leave? Yeah, she left. Okay. Okay. I, I, it's hot in here. I had to take my shirt off. I can't help it. You know, it is nice to go, like, after, after, like, a long day, you're just kind of, like, in bed, you're just, you know what, I'm gonna go have a cigarette, just kind of enjoy the fresh air, watch some YouTube videos. Ironic you say that, Ryan, because cigarettes are not fresh air. It's dirt air, it's dirty air! Yeah, but the reason you're outside is so that you're taking a break from being inside, but then since you're outside, you're taking a break from the cigarette smoke, you're smoking outside with the outside air. And then to get a break from the outside air, you're taking a puff of that cigarette smoke to make you feel a little better. Taking a break from the outside air. <laughs> let me go outside to get some fresh air. Now let me take a break from the outside fresh by air. Smoking out, by smoking in this dirty air. <laughs> <laughs> you should, we should write a book and there should be a whole chapter on like, uh, like smoking. And you should just write all of these things in there. <laughs> Alright, intriguing. I'd be good for cigarette companies. Dude, how come Marlboro, how come we're not like Marlboro's number one... Kind of like, like, why aren't they coming to us? But we got to get the kids on these cigarettes. I'd wear a ma no, I'd wear an American Spirit shirt for them. I'd advertise cigarettes. You'd work for Big Tobacco. <laughs> if I did, Ryan works for Big Tobacco. Would, that would be one of the 
probably the biggest kind of people going, Fuck you, yeah, dude! Yeah, people would really hate our channel. Well, see, I, I'm doing the- I'm not even wearing a shirt right now. What if- okay. Oh, but it's okay to wear a Jack Daniels or a Budweiser t-shirt. I don't wear Jack Daniels shirts! I don't even know- I'm not what talking about you, Matt! I'm talking about just people! You see them at sports games. Yeah. I'm not talking about you this time. If I was talking about you, it'd be a Mike's Hard Lemon Pink, a Mike's Hard Lemonade Pink Lemonade Edition t shirt. They don't even make pink lemonade. Do they make Yes, they Mike's make. Yeah, it tastes good. Oh. And I'm the alcoholic? No! <laughs> Living in bliss. Living in, Living in freedom, freedom is bliss. bliss. Look at you, man, with your little hot Okay, balloon. so that was a positive saying. Why did the last one say. Eat more en cigarettes. Enjoy a tasty cigarette. I think because it was trying to show you like the the advertising tactics they use. Okay. Like uh like pleasure uh Newport pleasure. It just it the posters just say pleasure. So I see that and I'm like ooh I like pleasure. Every everyone likes a little bit of pleasure. Which was more entertaining and rewarding? A cigarette. I'm sorry, this game did. That's because you're addicted. Of course. So I don't know why what he's what he's even trying. <laughs> yeah, at here. I know, I know, I totally get that. Like it's, it's like, like Ryan, did you have fun slowly connecting these letters to fill out a saying which you already knew what the answer was? Or would be? you rather go have a stupid cigarette? It's it's, it's now clear that there's nothing. Inter is it now clear that there's nothing interesting about smoking? More interesting than that game. Yeah, that game was pretty fucking. Boring. <laughs> See, they could have had like a good game as a, but uh, as a as a alternative. Look at you, man. You just climbed another fucking. Look at you go, man. I'm almost there. I got I got another bag to cut off, and then Fuck, I you're got actually getting three big close, cigarettes man. to cut off, and then I'll be flying high. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. In my Superman socks. Damn it! Where's the Epic Peter reference? Epic. Nice Peter is it? Nice, nice Peter. I always mix them up. Epic Lloyd. That's the one I gotta remember. Cassim Lloyd. Epic Lloyd actually. E Epic apparently, Cassim. He has a he has a terrible crack addiction. Ah, fuck this. this shit's tricky, wait. man. Gonna wait. Ryan, you can't give up. I give up. Ryan, you can't give up. You it, should never I give up. I can't do it without a stylus. <sighs> okay, I'll give you a pass on this one, alright? You get you get this pass. Seems so precarious. Okay. okay. Alright. I'm gay. I'm gay, dude. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> That's all he's saying. He's just saying I'm gay. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <I'm> so gay. <laughs> Man, it's okay if you smoke a cigarette or two, cause I'm gay. <laughs> How is that justification, sir? What is that? What are you talking about? Shut up, I'm gay. Oh shit, Ryan! Look at you go! You cut one of the cigarettes. Only two more cigarettes to cut. Woo! All right, here we go. Last two, baby. Last two. Uh, fears. Oh man, this this one might get. Oh fuck! It's fears and willpower, man. Are you ready to? You ready to? Divulge into your fears. The difficulty in stopping smoking is not the physical withdrawal, which is easy to deal with. Got it. It's the fear of life without cigarettes and the fear that you'll have to use willpower to stop smoking. Yeah, dude. Fuck! Woo! Yeah. That's me slapping my nipples. You were brainwashed to fear you couldn't cope with and enjoy life without cigarettes, little boys. <laughs> I wish you just threw little boys in there, like after every sentence. You'd have to go through a terrible trauma to quit, and that maybe the craving would never go, little boys. You believed you were making a sacrifice, little boys. This was the cause of your failed attempts to quit, little boys. Sir, can you stop? The last Burn game up. illustrated... Uh, illustrated this battle between you and the nicotine monster, little boys. So why, he why uses you illusions to protect himself because in reality he is powerless without them and can easily be... Defeated little boys, I'm gay. Why are you, why are you, why, why are you gay, telling me you're boys. gay? Now little boys, I'm that's gay. Irrele that's irrelevant <laughs> to the situation. I'm trying to quit smoking <laughs> just here. Just making a mockery. Making a mockery of this poor man. He probably has nothing to do with this game. He's just a stock model. They were like, yeah, this works. And now we're making fun of him. And he's, he's just trying to make a living as a I'm stock. A little gay boy. Like, <laughs> he's just trying to get his picture taken for stock photos to get some money to feed his family. Help, here we I are mocking him. cigarettes or else I'm going to be gay forever. <laughs> All right, Ryan. This is the last one. Press continue. Press and continue. This is it, man. It's the last mini game. Am I gonna quit smoking finally? You're about to quit smoking after this one. Then it's the last cigarette. Oh shit, man! Your hot balloon's about to take off. My big old hot balloon. Big hot balloon, baby. All right, here Here's we the go. Last one. Look how far you've come. You've really come far. I'm very proud of you. Part of you wants to stop smoking, but another part wants to continue. 
right? No shit, yeah. Okay, then in the following section, we will explore this mental battle and see the progress you have made. To do this, you need to be entirely honest and mark which illusions are resolved in your mind. As you complete the list, watch your inner battle on screen by looking at the tug of war between you and the nicotine monster. If any illusions remain unsolved, yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I gotta get it all right or else he's gonna make me go back and redo lessons. I need to be real right now, okay? Okay, nicotine withdrawal. What am I doing? All right, smoking causes the panic feeling. You can only get free from it by stopping the supply of nicotine. Press the... Okay. Press the check, yeah. You've been tricked into believing you need cigarettes to- Ryan, this is- this is important! Stop it! Stop! I'm taking your hand off that mouse! I'm taking the mouse away from you! This is important for your no. healing process and you're ignoring it! Fuck. You're blowing through it and you're not even reading it! I Ryan! Get the lesson! No, you Stop. don't! You don't get the lesson! You're an addict! Getting, you don't get, get it! The you don't get it! I get it, dude! Do you think someone goes to AA and says, I get it, and doesn't go to the meetings? Look at this! What are you doing? You don't even know what it says! I got it! Perfect score! Perfect fucking score. <laughs> uh, uh, there's just no hope. <laughs> All smokers <laughs> suffer a conflict of wills. Uh, no, that was supposed to just uh, represent a tug of war. No, you missed the point. I got the point. I what get... was the point? The point was that each that, that I'm battling exactly. between the positives and negatives of smoking. But you didn't read them. Right? I know you what the positives care. and negatives of smoking window. are. You don't. You don't. You don't truly care. You just want to stay addicted. You don't care. I'm playing this game, aren't I? Yeah. You're half-assing it, man. Watch this. Continue. Ah. This felt- this felt good. You have not earned this- you have not earned- I'm about to be the game, don't take that away from me! You did not earn that I'm gonna pink line. belly you if you shame me! I'm shaming you right now, cause you didn't- OW! Stop hitting me! Stop hitting me! Stop it! <laughs> There's your image of freedom, Ryan, do you uh, feel like you've actually earned it? Am I supposed to be smoking my last cigarette while watching this? Sure, go ahead, light it up. I gotta go get some uh some stuff for this quest. I just I just I just looked up on the internet. So I gotta go over to Verrock to the Grand Exchange. Gotta uh, go buy some some cloves of garlic. Gotta buy some garlic. And gotta buy some uh, cloves in general. Just some cloves. Gonna Cherry smoke some cloves. cloves. Yeah, dude. <laughs> love dude. I love smoking. I love playing Ooh. RuneScape and smoking cloves. You know what I love? Fully inhaling cigars. <laughs> <laughs> One pull too. Just have you ever inhaled a cigar? Like yeah, the first time I smoked a cigar, I didn't realize you're not supposed to inhale it. So how just awful like, was that experience for you? It was terrible. <laughs> I was I was sucking that shit, dude. I was sucking the skin off that shit. I was just my least favorite thing oh. about a cigar is that it'll be on your skin, clothes, and mm. in your throat till the next morning. I love cigars, but the thing I, is, I like smoking them at the time, but then just the the you just can't get that smell, dude. Are just, ugh. That smell hangs around; it does not go away. Like cigarettes. Yeah, dude. They just except they're not it, cigarettes. Aren't as uh, cigars stay much longer. They get yeah. in your it gets in your hair, your clothes, your fingers. Like after you like if you smoke a cigar, you can wash your hands with soap and hot water like five times, and they will still smell like cigars. One of my least favorite things is waking up the morning after going to like the cigar merchant and then just being like, ugh, like tasting it and like smelling it, and it's like on the smells in my sheets and stuff. I'm just like, does ugh. not go away, man. It's, it's not a good. It's not a good smell to wake up to. It's not. It's such like a oh, why did I do that? Why did I smoke a cigar? <laughs> but, hey, when you're with a bunch of friends... You're with the boys? Let's pop out a cigar, go to the local cigar merchant. Pop out a Cuban, you know what Woo. I'm saying? Just... <laughs> suck that thing dry. God, suck that shit dry, man. <laughs> suck that shit dry. Oh, am I starting? I don't know. Okay. This little baby has never played Fortnite before, and I've got a team of specialists to teach him how to play and hopefully get a bad, uh, victory royale. Let's see. Let's get one of those dubs. This let's is, do it. It's my first time ever playing Fortnite. I don't know the controls. I don't know uh, anything. So, uh, Lulu Gaga, let's start. Could, could someone uh, vape me up? It's to my left. Excuse me. Okay. Switching over to my gun. <laughs> <laughs> can you put some of the Alex? <laughs> can, you put, 
you put some of the InfoWars <laughs> supplements in there? <coughs> Can I turn on auto sprinting? I need, that, I need the InfoWars juice. Oh, is it not on? It is. Oh, it is? Auto sprint is on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I made a fool of myself. Damn. So I need to get towards the center. <laughs> yeah, so that white line oh, that's is the <laughs> fastest way to get to the circle. All right, I'm gonna, what's in here? You go check it out. Oh, I got a gun. gun. Check got, it out. Got another shotgun. Uh, the flavor palette of a uh, vape juice and Mountain Dew is not terrible. Let me, let me try not that. that so bad, did, yeah. you, did you vape and then drink? <gasps> At the same time. Ryan. Yes. What? Oh, the cube. Oh, dude, that's the cube. That's the, that's the fucking cube. Ah! Now, let's Do I shoot it? Cannon give me, of give me some cannon. A little more vape. Baby. Oh, come on. Oh, don't hurt the cube. No, don't, don't hurt the cube. You. Stop, stop. Respect the cube. Respect it. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Here you go, Matt. Come on. Give me longer hits than that. <laughs> Sorry, okay, fine. Is that fine? I don't know where they are. I can't see oh, the street. To your right, to your right. To your right. Where? Fuck! Jesus. He, they're, they're having I a little battle. I thought he was battle. a gamer. I'm not a gamer. That's why no. Ryan always plays the games on Super Mario. What Mac. are you He's talking about? <laughs> I'm a baby. I'm not a gamer. Watch out behind you. Behind me? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> where is everybody? Stop being such a big baby and go 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 towards the uh... cube. No. Go, go up the go up the hill. <laughs> All right, I'm running. Because you're gonna. Oh, oh no. to your left. Oh. To your left. Someone's. Oh, no, no, no. To your right. On oh, the hill. On the hill. On the hill. Up here. On Switch your shotgun. Shotgun? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There he is. Should I get? Oh, uh, should I just run? Uh, just, just, just jump off. around. It's low gravity we'll in this place. Around. Oh jump shit! Around. Yeah, they can't shoot me if I'm jumping around. Jump. Jump around is my favorite KSI song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Oh, <laughs> you, you got him, man. You got Matt, Stop, you got, Matt, you got this. Baby, Come on. Baby. Come on, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. No. Oh, streamer four one five. Oh, is that Ninja? That was probably Ninja. Oh, That's why you died. No, it's oh, okay. It's okay. No, it's a gamer girl. <laughs> What's her number? Four one five. Where's the vape? Did the I vape? Put it down. Where's the vape? Vape. The, the vape. Vape. Where the fuck is the vape, guys? Oh, right to the Android user. Stop! Stop! Are you making fun of me? I'm just saying. I don't like my green messages. I brought you on here to teach him, not make fun of me. Well, I think this you better start taking me serious. I don't think this baby can learn. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Jackson, come on. What the on, fuck man. are you laughing Just at? Oh, Dad's yelling at me. I'm laughing because your bonnet's messed up. Oh, fix my bonnet. Cute baby. Okay, Matt, I think one of the reasons uh, it wasn't working out for you too well is because of your controller. So I'm going to give you a controller that works better. You want me a better I'll controller? I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. Ryan, hurry, it's starting. Okay, okay, oh. okay. Hold on. I got to plug it oh, in. That was good. That was really good. You wow. see, you've gotten better. See, baby's learning. I legit, learning. I legitimately yeah. just threw up in my mouth. Really? Yeah. You got oh, your eyes it watering. couldn't be the vape in Mountain Dew, right? No, no. <laughs> okay. Where did the vape go? Hold on. Okay, so you're you're landing, landing there. All right, All right, so there's a gun in there. Baby. I guess I'll get some materials. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Hell good yeah. Good job. Baby needs to stop. Baby, stop. Hey, stop. Hey, get Go! that shit out. I had a rattle, but it, uh... <coughs> Maybe threw a little tantrum and broke it. I had a rattle, but I threw a little tantrum and broke it. Maybe I had to go in timeout. Okay, baby. So now I've cha I've changed. So since you changed the building pro, that means like once you go into building well, mode. Well, no, but baby played around something. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Yeah, I know. I did All the right, last round. I know. Baby's I know. Going. Going. Oh, baby's well, baby. Okay, dropped. baby's going yeah, right no. out. Is that person on my team, or is that just another person? Well, you gotta figure out, baby. Yeah. So, uh... We're going down, down, and down, and down, round. And sugar, we're playing some Fortnite. How do I go down faster? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, how, what's do I, how do I go down faster? I don't, I don't... Do you know whose this is? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Can I... Can baby have a little more juice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby needs his bottle. Wait, turn the ohms up for baby. Yeah, crank that. Drain that battery. Baby's a little meteor. Do you like a some? I need a. Hold on. I'm going. You fuckers need Jesus. You, yo, okay. we uh, we need slurp juice, right? Oh, <laughs> nice. Dude. So you have 50 people on. Well, 49 other people on your team. Well, technically already now you have yeah. you have 45 other people on your team. Thanks. And the other team is 45. So it's um. You guys are oh, winning. Oh, check yeah, it out. It's gonna be a big battle. Uh -huh. <sighs> Thank you. Where's the vape? Did he take it? Did he come in and take baby's vape? <laughs> Dude! Dude, you wanna smoke some Swisher Sweets? Dude! <laughs> Why you talk- you fucking-
<laughs> Are we gonna hit it? We're gonna hit that yeet. Is uh, that what the kids say? Yeah, hit the uh, y'all mind if I hit that yeet? Is that that's what they say? Uh, All right, we can hit the. We yeet. can do that. All right, yeah. can I give you a topic? When the like something gets thrown her and it goes yeet. Yeah, it's it's, it's that, that it's that like white boy at school and he's like y'all mind if I hit that yeet and then he like throws something. Uh, he's I, got I, dip in his mouth. <laughs> Does he? Y'all too dip? To. No, my dad dips. Dip is disgusting. Dip, I dip. I have a bad experience with dip because, like, my dad, like, when I was really young, like, he quit smoking. He always then, spit it on Bill when he was a kid. Yeah, dude. But no, like, like um, a mama bird. He's like pretty. He was good about it later, but like, like he would, like, I had like a Mountain Dew can, and he oh, had no. a Mountain Dew can, and he spit into oh. it, and like it was like immediately, like I, like I was like six years old, and I like went to just chug. And then it was like, it hit my mouth, and then I threw up on top of that. So I was just covered in used dip, spit, and throw up. And then my dad just comes in, and he's just like, what have I done? <laughs> I need to quit. Yeah, no, that was then from quit. now on, it was like in bottles. But like, that's spit. like, I, I smoke, so I've dealt with something similar to that, where like, I'll put a bunch of my cigarettes out in like a small Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke, whatever bottle mm -hmm. for a long time. And I'll also have a drink right next to it in the cup holder. I'll pick up one of them and just take a swig. I get I get a mouthful of ashy, soaked cigarette uh, butt, and it's wonderful. That is disgusting. Uh, yeah, I'm that, trying to get that like as a flavored drink, <laughs> like a know? Yankee Candle, Coca Cola yeah. tobacco flavor. Ooh. They they make tobacco scented candles. They do. They actually smell kind of alright. Yeah, no, I love the smell of tobacco. I just I, I'm like I just don't want my place smell like it. But I feel like a tobacco candle yeah. is like cigarettes. It's just like a you don't want it to smell yeah. like a cigar it, merchant. Yeah, it's like, it's like an earthy. Like hearty smell. There's a um, there's a rapper. I don't know if any y'all fuck with Lil Ugly Mane. Do you know who I'm talking about? Lil Ugly Mane. Yeah, I know Ugly God. I, no, Lil Ugly uh, Mane. I mean, Ugly God is cool too, Ugly but God's Lil great. Ugly Mane, he's like top five for me. Like seriously, actually, like an amazing rapper. Okay. Yeah. The name's just kind of funny. Yeah, and producer. Yeah, he does all his own shit. But um, he actually has a line of vape juice out, and it's called Court Date, and it's uh, or Courtroom or something like that, and it's um, coffee and stale tobacco. That's what it's supposed to taste like. Ryan, you want to try it? I think I'm good, man. Actually, <laughs> U U Ugly God actually posted a video of me and Ryan on his Instagram, the video of us putting banana in the bag and slamming him against a wall. Did he? Which, did, which to clarify, was not real. Just for the... Some people got really Wake. upset about that. But I, we didn't actually slam my it's cat against the wall. It's not real. Really? It's not real? It, it was... I mean... I'm unsubscribing. It's not real. It's, this it's feels like um, me figuring out yeah, Santa's not, not real. real. Shh, Santa is Oh, sorry, real. Santa's up. Uh, Cats can <laughs> land on their feet. They're very durable. Ooh, yeah, you, you, you slam against the wall, he'll land on his feet. He's fine. If you... Uh, it, I don't want to get into it. It's fine. I'll get heated. It's, I don't... But, like... Is this scripted? No. Oh, my God, Ryan. You know what I'm saying? We're really redeeming ourselves from when we played Mario Party 4. Oh, shit! Fucking... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> God, that gave me lung cancer. That was so awesome. All right, you're not even the one that smokes. I know, and I, I that would be just my luck, man. <laughs> like, like I get lung cancer at the age of 22. On my behalf. <laughs> the doctor's like, well, it's uh, it says here, uh, this is on your friend Ryan's behalf. <laughs> I know. What? How does God's that even work? Just like, yeah, just uh. I don't know. The good Lord told me. <laughs> the good. Well, out of all of the ones, we have to play the one that we already got and unlocked. My image of Jim Carrey has gone down lately. Just because he's really odd. He's really odd and kind of an asshole. I don't know. Still on the fence of whether I think Jim Carrey's an asshole or not. I'll watch. I'll watch the new Netflix movie and then I'll decide if he's a crazy asshole or if he's just a, a wild, lovable goof. One that just, of the two. That just wants to make a good movie. Or maybe somewhere in between. He's probably just crazy, though. I think he's crazy, because he's like, I, I had to be Andy Kaufman, but I thought about what would Andy do. <laughs> I, like, I became Andy Kaufman. I what? was him. When Leonardo DiCaprio played, uh, whatever the guy's name was Jay in Wolf Edgar. of Wall Street. Oh, never mind. <laughs> when he played the guy from Wolf of Wall Street, do you think he was, like, actually snorting coke out of, like, <laughs> stagehands assholes behind the set and, like, just going crazy and yelling at people being an asshole? It's essentially cheating if you have to actually, like... If you play a cocaine addict and then you snort cocaine to act like a cocaine addict, that's a form of cheating. Okay, yeah. Call it out like a, like a sports thing. Dude, Leonardo DiCaprio loves his vape. You ever seen all the pictures of him vaping? No. He vapes. Does he? he? Yeah, he loves his vape. <laughs> does it like one of the? Does it look like a really nice? Yeah, he's uh, just rig? got one of those like box rigs. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's a lot of pictures of him vaping at events. He just carries that. I mean, good on him. That's perfect. He's not smoking. He's vaping. Maybe, <sighs> maybe he's trying to quit smoking. 
I need to rewatch the do Titanic. That. I can't. I already have enough hearts. And let's just do the boss. Do it. Let's do the boss. You know, what? I really, I don't know about you, but I, I have like a weird sensitivity to certain things, okay. like, like chalk dust on my hands. Ah, mm. it gives me like goosebumps. I can't. Yeah, stand I don't. It. I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of like charcoal just or dirt on my hands. I hate dust. it. Dust. Or like just dust in between your toes or something. You've had like when you've been in a desert area, you've felt like the dirt and dust in your mouth, like drying out your tongue and shit like that. Yeah, because it gets in there. Like or when you blow your nose. Yeah, and it's like it's just like black. Yeah, not a fan of that. What? Yeah, when you blow your nose and it's just black, thick paste. That happens to me like twice a week. Should I see a doctor? Um, yeah, I would. I would if I were you, just to be safe. Or I could just, that's uh... Never, I mean, I smoke and that's never happened. Well, me. so I don't worry myself, I'll just ignore it. Because then if I ignore it and don't go to the doctor, it's not real. That is true. I good, mean, good advice I for mean, kids. Health is always just uh, ruled by the placebo. Right? Exactly, man. Placebo effect. So. If I don't like, if, if let's say I'm having some like symptoms of cancer, I could just be like, hey, you know what? If I go to the doctor, then it's real. But if I ignore it, I don't have cancer. I couldn't imagine going to a doctor, like looking at like what I think is like acne or something, be like, hey, doctor, can you check this out? See if anything's wrong. He's like, oh yeah, that's cancer. <laughs> it's spread through your entire body. Oh. Okay. In fact, you don't even have bones in your body. It's just it's it's just cancer buildup. Like, in oh. fact, you're not even a patient. You're a puppet, and I'm got and I've gone mad because I lost my job in 2016. So I've been seeing I've been seeing you, doctor, for for two years now, and you haven't even been a, a real doctor. Well, you're not even a real person. And then and then it zooms out, and and then the Twilight Zone guy steps in front of the camera. That's right. You just saw a doctor play with a sock puppet. A story fit for a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> that was dumb. I was about to. Were you about to make a joke? Not even a joke. I was just about to say Steinemann Square for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jill Stein was actually the, the person who stood in front of the tanks in Tiananmen Square. <laughs> what if you looked at a photo and it's like one of those, what is it called? The, uh, the Morgan effect? What's it called? The effect where it's like... Some... Mandela effect. Mandela effect. <laughs> the Morgan effect. Well, Morgan Freeman played Nelson Mandela in a movie, so I, I see where you brain... can make that connection, yeah. The well, Morgan Freeman effect. It's like Freeman the Mandela effect. effect. It's like we all saw what we thought was an Asian person standing in front of the tanks, but what you failed to realize is that it was actually political candidate Jill Stein. Green Party figurehead <laughs> Jill Stein. That'd blow my fucking ass. Like, what if, what if I looked and it was just Matt and Ryan from Super Mega? At Tiananmen Square? <laughs> real talk, though, Tiananmen Square is, like, one of the, like, so fucked up. If you read about it, it's real China's fucked like, up. like, what? What are you it, talking you, about? I don't hear anything about Tiananmen <laughs> Square. Know. Can you hear something? Is that the wind? They're never going to invite us to do Super Mega Live in, in <laughs> Tiananmen Square now because of this. I'd love to do a live show there. In Tiananmen like, Square? And just be like, man, remember what happened here? And you'd be like, yeah, a whole lot of nothing. I mean, they just shoot us. <laughs> But before we even get to say whole, like, they shoot me, I'm like, I was gonna say whole lot of nothing! <laughs> and then they go, then their government would put out a statement. Yeah, we don't know what happened. Um, nothing, actually nothing happened. They were never even here. <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> I love, like, a written statement that, that, that jumbled and confused. <laughs> who's, who, who's super mega? <laughs> uh, we haven't heard of them. And then they get... Well, I, I, people can't even watch Super Dan Mega in China. Dan and Phil to replace us. Dan and Phil to replace us. <laughs> to play is that the Tiananmen Square? Is that the closest like that's the people P in the line of succession that's after like the us? The PC duo, isn't it? Like they're more not PC. They're more uh, child friendly. Yeah, yeah. They're more like family friendly. Dan, yeah. Dan and Philly. Dan, Dan and Philip. I wish it was. Do Dan they and still Phillip. do stuff? Yeah, I'm sure they. What's their live show called? Dan and Phil. This tour is not up. on fire. Oh. Dan and Phil fucking up. <laughs> Goes on stage. Hey guys, welcome to. to <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, he fucked it up. He fucked it up. Do you remember that time we got on Netflix and we watched their live show one night? We were just really we didn't bored. We watched the whole thing. We dude. watched, we part watched of a it. big part. We of it. watched too much of it. Yeah, we did. And nothing against Dan and Phil. It's just not we're not the audience for them. But yeah. we're like, let's see what their live show is like. And we just sat down. I think we like smoked hookah and watched Dan and Phil. <laughs> what a night, dude. Am I right? We got to get back to those nights. Smoking hookah, watching Dan and I think, Phil. I think you and I smoked hookah so much that it, it is out of my system for the rest of my life. Eat. Unless I go to like, I go to a hookah bar with people. I would too. But like, I'm not ever going to own a hookah again. Oh my god! So Strangely like, enough, I've owned like three hookahs in my they life. They all broke too. Yeah, just, just one because of Daniel. Mm -hmm. One because of Lego. I think Lego smacked one over. One? No, he smacked something else over. He smacked something else over that shattered. But we can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, but uh, it was actually a, a porcelain figurine of uh, someone just woke up angry, just like they're falling asleep. Like, <laughs> God damn it! It was These a porcelain. These guys are annoying. I'm porcelain. not listening to their podcast anymore. Porcelain figurine of George Lopez. I'm gonna listen to Ben Shapiro's serene voice instead. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Everyone, everyone's, everyone's leaving Super Megacast to listen to Ben Shapiro these days, and it's pissing me off. Hello. There it is, 2-4. This looks scary, Matt. Oh, man, I really wish that I had uh, my Gatorade right now. All I guess I can do is... Uh... We, oh, we didn't give you a Gatorade break. Fuck, I feel bad. It's all right, bro. I feel like a... I feel like a everyday schmo. All right, let's. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Fuck. You know, I, I do sometimes. I take Prilosec, uh, OTC, which stands for over the counter, um, and it really does help with the heartburn. Uh, but I still, I still get you know the acid indigestion, heartburn from eating tomatoes, especially if I eat them raw. Same with avocados. If I eat tomatoes or avocados on a sandwich or taco, which I love, I love tacos. I love tomatoes and avocado. But unfortunately, it does, you know, induce crippling heartburn. Um, and that's why, you know, if you, too, experience that, maybe you can follow Larry the Cable Guy's advice and the Prilosec commercials and consume Prilosec. Uh, it changed my life, for sure. I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just trying to fill the void while Ryan is, I don't know if he's doing number one or number two. Who knows how long it'll take. Uh, but, uh, you know, Prilosec has helped me in my heartburn. Just a personal bit of uh, knowledge for you guys. Um, there's a lot of foods that give me heartburn. You know, spicy stuff gives me heartburn. Uh, vaping gives me heartburn. Speak of the devil. Let me... I'm trying to get off this thing, man. I, uh, I, 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 I didn't even smoke. Like, I wasn't a smoker. But I just started juuling, like I said, ironically. And then next thing you know, I got... Uh, this nicotine addiction for about a month straight now, and I'm this I'm on my last jewel pod, so I'm ready to uh, to kick the habit because jeweling I've noticed has made me feel very <gasps> oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> Ooh, scared me. Well, Ryan's back, everybody. Uh, I kept it going, man. I kept it going without you. I just uh, a little bit. I I kind of got into it because I I you know I was talking about heartburn and uh, tomatoes and the food that gives me heartburn. Tomato temple. Yeah, from a uh, Fordcraft, and I was talking about how you know vaping gives me heartburn as well. Um, Everything gives you heartburn. It does, yeah. My heart's just so fragile. Little baby. Heart. Why do they call it heartburn? It's not even. It's not my heart. It's my. It's my esophageal canal. Cause that's what it feels like. For me, it's in my throat. I just feel it in my throat. I, call it throat I feel burn. it like just in this. Just general in the operation. in the general chest, you know, which is where your heart is. So my heart, my heart's over here, Ryan. Yeah, well, my heart, all the way over here. My heart's in my rib cage. Have you? Seen a doctor about that? It shouldn't be down there. Um, don't need to. Should not be down there. Your heart should be it's up well here. protected. Just saying. Your rib cage? Mm-hmm. Hey! Right, hey, 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 buddy! Come on! He was taking a shit. <laughs> you don't shoot a man while he's on the shitter. That's one of the rules of war. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's us, dude. I'm looking. Good. I really want to make a game like this with you now. I really think that is the best idea to make a game about a deranged fan. And you and I are like bosses. Yeah, every level we're like it's somewhere different and like running. You have to come kill us. <laughs> Inspired by real events. One of them you have to like blow up uh, our apartment. I just want to be able to run around our old apartment in like a 3D environment and like you can play as one of us. We just need to make a super mega game. Oh, 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 up? Y'all mind if I hit that jewel? Up. Y'all aren't too happy in the comments about me jeweling. Fuck. Oh, I was supposed to go in there. Mm. Yeah, here's what I'll say. Um, I, I, I completely respect the unhappiness about me jeweling, and I don't want anyone to jewel, especially if you're underage, because I do it, okay? Also, oh my god. Oh no. Oh. Uh, I'm saying things! Oh god! It's just that room. This is the- that was the glitched up room on the camera, remember? What I was saying is, please don't jewel because the funny YouTube man does it. I am 22, I'm legally allowed to Whoa. be jeweling. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry that explosion was more I, important than my uh, important what the message about health. Yes, Matt, it is. And what's where do we going go? on is more Wait, do you have the access card? We need the access card to get in that door outside, don't we? Where? Oh. Remember that door we couldn't get into? Do I have the access card? No. Hey! And, uh, hey no, we're fine. recording a podcast hey, 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 here! Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, the cops are here. Are they? Did you guys have a 
pressed a, a robbery alarm. Button. No. Where's Where's a robbery alarm button? Yeah, there's actually like three <laughs> police here. Like apparently. Where, I didn't even touch Wait, the there's keypad. A, there's a robbery alarm I've button. Got, yeah, apparently, a silent robbery Could, alarm went off, and now there's three cops here. Well, uh, would this be a t good time to go out there with the fake gun we have? That That is a great. We could prank all the cops. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know why. Like, but every time I'm someone's like, "There's cops here," I'm just like. I just get like, wait, what? Why? I'm like, they're here to arrest you, Matt. There, there, are, there are a few cops around my around my area uh, yesterday. There were like three. I, I don't know a, why. I saw a bunch of cops this weekend. I watched a building burn down. Did you? Yeah, in Glendale, a building just caught on fire, and I uh, insurance or maybe it was. It's like an old industrial building. It was uh, going up in flames. I drove down to it because I could see it from afar, and uh, I just kind of went up as close as I could get with a big crowd. And we just watched it burn down. It was nice. crazy. They blocked off all the streets, so you could just walk in the street. That's a awesome. lot of firefighters spraying water. Um, yeah, water ain't gonna do much there. They sprayed water for like a long time. It took a. It takes a long time to put a fire out, even well, with a ton of water. Yeah, think of how much how much oxygen versus water there is. That's true. It's like it's like a big fight back and forth. Yeah, it was crazy. It's absolutely crazy, man. And uh, a lot of smoke in Glendale over the weekend. A lot of smoke. A lot of smog. Yeah, I'm trying to quit. So. I'm sorry if this is making it worse. Make no, it harder. no, it's fine. Am I trying to quit? I don't I, jewel anymore, guys. I tell myself I try to quit, but I never do. Pull that trigger, man. What? There's cops here. No, no, I mean, <laughs> uh, stop smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a vape, dude. I don't jewel anymore. Get, get a, a jewel, vape. man. Why would I get a fucking vape when I can get some fucking balling ass sneakers? Okay. Ryan, how many times a day would you crank it out if you were just trapped in a bomb bunker? In a all bomb day? shelter, knowing my libido now, probably five to ten times a day. <laughs> <laughs> that thing would like, oh my god, I can't imagine being trapped in a bomb shelter with you and just knowing that you just had to masturbate five to ten times a day. I'd just be like, you just be like, Matt, it's time. And you're like, all right, nice. I have to go look, sit I in mean, the corner. I'm not even in a bomb shelter now, and that's pretty much what the average was <laughs> before, before No Nut November. Yeah. How's that been going? Very fun. Very hard. Same. Very tough for me, man. Hey, Matt. you know what, guys? It's November 9th. Neither of us have succumbed, no pun intended, what? to uh, No Nut November. I, we're, soon we're going to be able to levitate things with our mind. Yeah. I, I'm already, I've been working towards it every day. My eyesight has become clear. I have more energy. I'm able to seduce a woman like that. No touching my penis with my hand for this man. Mm -mm -mm. It's no penis touch November. <laughs> and then we're going to both participate and destroy Dick December, which, as all of you know, December 1st, you masturbate once. I could probably legitimately, if I were to do destroy uh, if Dick If you were, December, you are going to. No, like, realistically. Okay, how far could you get? I think it's that 10th day would you, kill me. I think, how? I think I could comfortably get up to 7. Oh my god. I think I could easily comfortably get up No to joke. I don't think I could get to three. <laughs> really? Yeah. You have all day. I don't have, like, I don't have that high of a libido. Well. So, like, I, and, like, like, once, you know, once it, once it's fired out of the chamber, it's like, I need a good uh, half a day. Yeah, but then, then you, then you play some video games and smoke, s smoke a cigarette, and then you're like, man. I could use another one of those. Sounds like a per <laughs> you, perfect day. You crank one out, and you just and you just flop between video games, Netflix, a cigarette, and masturbation. Are you just describing your Saturday? <laughs> is, that, is that your Saturday? I mean, no. <laughs> Every time I watch Breaking Bad, there's a scene where Walter says to Jesse, he goes, he goes, Smoking marijuana, eating Cheetos, and masturbating does not constitute his plans in my book. And every time he says that, I'm like, that just sounds like Ryan's Saturday to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I treat myself right on Saturdays. Self-care. You know what? Everyone has varying definitions of self-care. If that's how you take care of yourself, fucking go for it, man. Okay. Just not in November. No. Because it's no, not November. Yeah. Which Wait, I, does that mean we, we uh, like, uh, what? We can't use other means to nut? Is it strictly just... Uh... You can still have sex okay. during no okay. nut November. Okay. You can't stimulate your own genitals, though. That's the rule. It's to, a ways, to, a raise, to raise awareness for prostate cancer, but I think they just tacked that on so it didn't sound as weird to the general public. It's also healthy. It is, yeah. It's good to take a break from jerking off. Boys. It's also healthy to masturbate. Just saying. Could prevent cancer. Could help prevent cancer, man. Well, Ryan... I'm not going to fight with you on the semantics of this. Actually, I think, well, I mean, prostate orgasms are healthy. So, Well, you know what, Ryan? Actually, masturbating does help prevent prostate cancer, I think. Mm -hmm. I haven't read the research. That's just what I've been told. But I've also been told that for mental health, not masturbating is fantastic. 
Yeah, because uh, it makes you a very dangerous male. You're filled with testosterone. <laughs> yeah. I could I could snap someone's neck like super quick. <laughs> with your mind soon. By by yeah, with my mind at the end of the month I'll be able to snap someone's neck. I'll be able to make someone die just by looking at them. And honestly, it's so easy to seduce any woman I want. It's it's crazy. What do you have to? What do you? What's your go to? I just look at them. They can detect my chakras and my energy. See, my chakras from my testicles have built up so strong because I haven't been. I've been uh, reserving my semen that a woman can just detect it by being near me. Instantly attracted to me. Okay. Um, my chakras have been aligned. Um, my testosterone levels are off the chart. My sperm count is through the roof. And women can detect that kind of thing. Oh, they, wow. They're naturally attracted to it. See, usually I just go to Hollywood Boulevard and hold up a sign that says, want, want GF, please, will pay good, and then cash signs. And then also include a note that says you're, you've reserved your semen. I, there's a lot of guys that believe. I, I in wear that. a super mega shirt while I'm doing it, so people may get the little like, "Oh, what's that?" And then they'll look it up, and they'll see me and be like, "Oh, he's a on. famous YouTuber. Look at that!" Not only is he a famous YouTuber, but he reserves his semen. And uh, guys, 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 guys. Uh, hope you've all been Fellas. well, Fellas. Hope you've been doing well, and to the ladies, hope you've been doing well too. Ryan, how have you been? I've been all right. Just uh, let me guess, playing Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Still? I'm still playing like the fourth Red Dead podcast. Redemption it's like, how you been? Good playing Red Dead Redemption. That's pretty much all that my life is. I go home, I uh, smoke up what like cigarettes. Oh, thank God! I smoke up some cigarettes and <laughs> I play some Red Dead Redemption too. I go home, I smoke six cigarettes. I texted Ryan on Thanksgiving and I was like, "Hey, man, what are you doing for Turkey Day?" And your response was. Smoking cigarettes and drinking milk. <laughs> yeah. And I responded, I was like, living like a king. <laughs> Is that really what you did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I, in the morning, I got some, I poured myself a nice tall glass of milk, went outside with Lego and uh, enjoyed some cigarettes and some milk. Uh, the breakfast of champions. <laughs> and then for my uh, Thanksgiving lunch, I uh, ordered myself some Popeyes <laughs> and watched King of the Hill. And then continued Red Dead Redemption 2. That sounds fun. I did uh, bust on over <laughs> to uh, Aaron and Susie's place for a little bit because they were having a shindig. I popped in for like about like an hour and a half, two hours. Did you bring a, did you bring a, a gallon of milk and some cigarettes? No, I didn't. Well, I did bring cigarettes, but I didn't bring a gallon of milk. Did you bring enough to share with the class? No. Johnny, what is that? There better be enough for the class. That's my old man smokes. I love, Every, everybody better get one. Dude, I love milk. I love milk and cheese. Milk and cheese are so good. I know I, you do. You're a big you're a big dairy proponent. God, dairy's so bad for you. It is though. That's the thing. Like, I've been feeling like shit lately, and I wonder it's like I wonder if I should cut out dairy. I'm gonna start with sugar. I need to cut out sugar. But it's like my mom went on some diet where she cut out sugar and dairy for a month, and she said like Two weeks in, it sucks at first. You feel awful. But she said, like, two weeks in, she just felt, like, amazing. Just, like, energy all day. You just feel good. Like, we're, aren't humans not but supposed to... But now you would say she's not doing as well, and the cow is having a cow. What's that supposed to mean? What? You calling my mom fat? <laughs> no. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. I like, guarantee if my Cat mom listens to this, she's not going to be happy. Also, apologies for the background noise, the recording power hour in the room next door. And they don't care about Super Mega. So they'll just be as loud as they want. But the moment we raise our voice over two decibels, they'll bust in the room. Tucker's got to come in the room up. and tell us to shut up. I'm getting sick of it, Ryan. I'm gonna burn this whole office down. Tucker will come in. <laughs> Do his little his little Tuckerisms, <laughs> his little Tucker Prescottisms. <laughs> so uh, sorry, but um, hey, uh, so uh, yeah, got to film uh, Power Hour. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> It's such a perfect Tucker. Um, but imagine like Tucker has you at gunpoint, he has a gun <laughs> to your head, and he's he's supposed to kill you. And he's, he's like, like the Don. Yeah, he'll be like, so uh, yeah, I uh, didn't want to have to do this, but uh, leave me no choice. So uh, sorry. And that's the last thing you see before lights out. <laughs> Just like Tucker with that goofy f fucking grin on his face where it's terrifying. Where his eyes just beating out of yeah, his, his head. Yeah, his eyes really pop. When he does that one grin. His teeth shine like a th the light of a thousand Minecraft diamonds, and his eyes bulge out of his head, and uh, the the veins throb upon his his forehead, <laughs> and you just see him, and and you see that at the other end of the gun, and then you see him start to pull his finger back on the trigger, and then night night. You don't even out. hear anything. You don't. You don't. Your lights out. Lights out. Animal Crossing and Katamari are like I've never been able to decide. I'd probably have to say Animal Crossing. But Katamari is right. I don't know, dude. It's too fucking hard. Because every time I start thinking about, 
I start you thinking about think how about much I much. shut up. Every time I start thinking about how much I like Animal Crossing, <laughs> I think about I think about Katamari, and then I think about those memories, and they feel fond. But I'm like, do the Animal Crossing memories feel fonder? But then I'm like, but ah, but Katamari means so much to me. I just don't fucking know. Honestly, Animal Crossing probably is a little bit higher up than Katamari. I'm sorry, it is. Are you on meth? I don't know, but Katamari just is so much more unique. Where are you taking? Fuck. What are you on, dude? <sighs> can I get some? <sighs> got, a, got a bottle that I could that I could that I could chuck in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what if I I just had a mental breakdown? Like that was what triggered it. <laughs> dude, my doctor, he prescribes me like these dissolvable bottles, so I can just take the whole bottle at once. It's not safe, Ryan. What you, of what? What? Bottle of what? A bottle of medicine. That's what he said. That's what he said. I'm gonna prescribe you this bottle of medicine. <laughs> Just general pills. Don't mind the effects. Uh, doctor, can I get some drugs? Yeah, just just some general drugs. <laughs> there you go. I'll prescribe you three drugs. Thanks, Doc. I'm sick. Well, here's here's some drugs to make you better. Here's a bottle of medicine. <laughs> it has like the skull and crossbones on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was at a party this weekend and uh, we were just doing drugs, just general drugs, you know? Yeah. We just had a bag of general drugs and just did the drugs. <laughs> like, so who brought the drugs? <laughs> uh... <laughs> just like it's just like generic pills and like. <laughs> Like whenever you, whenever you look up drugs on Google Images, it's like a it's like a it's a really well taken photo, but it's all just like prescription like meds, It'll like a like, pink like pill, a, a blue pill. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a bunch of pills. The ibuprofen I have. Notice how they don't put alcohol or cigarettes on there. <laughs> I'm trying to actually, I don't know. What I say this a lot, but I'm I'm trying to quit jeweling now. I haven't done it today. Good, you should. But uh. But the ibuprofen. Ooh, nicotine I, withdrawal. <gasps> maybe that's why I have this headache. Dude, nicotine withdrawal fucking sucks, dude. Well, I'm about to find out. Yeah, you'll get like, you'll get headaches. You'll get irritable. Uh, I know the irritability. I get really pissed off at small things. But I'm, but I'm logically like, like what? What if I just beat your ass for that? Because <laughs> logically, I'm like, I'm like, I shouldn't be getting mad right now. But then I'm still getting mad, and then that makes me more mad what? knowing that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> No, but I have these, I, the ibuprofen I have at my house looks like a cartoon drug because it's half red, half blue, like, pill capsules from CVS. It's, like, their generic brand. Works works pretty well, I guess, though. Works as good as regular drugs. We should sell drugs on our merch store. How long would it take for us to get, like, taken down if we just opened up on our merch store and just sold, like, drugs? I don't know. It seems like it's, like... <laughs> That's when we're down on our down on our luck. You know, like, when actors do those commercials for, like stupid products when they're like, down on their luck like Jamie Lee Curtis doing Activia yeah, yeah. <laughs> could you imagine if president started doing that shit I'm I'm George W. Bush and I approve ibuprofen rest in peace daddy <laughs> but we are actually about to head out to uh South Kakalaki um to go home for Christmas and uh a much needed break for us because these last two weeks have been Four hours of sleep a night, going to bed at 5 a.m. every single night. There was that one night where I stayed up to like 7 30. That was the night before the you show. You stayed up to like six something the other night, too. Yeah, I mean, we, it's just because we've been, we work on packing merch stores until about three or four And every then night. we have to work on Super Mega. And then we got to do Super Mega and we got to do Game Grumps. Yep. Like we got, we edit Power Hour uh, with Tucker, so we have to uh, edit Power Hour yeah, every with week. The, with the Power Hour, you and I take the base footage and we cut it down we, so like we the make base... the skeleton and then tucker adds like yeah. finishing touches like we'll we'll add like sound effects or stuff every now and then but essentially like our cuts will be like 15 16 and then he'll cut it down to like the remaining 13 or 12 or something yeah like that. and so i guess that that's a shit ton of work and we got a Susie's channel and our own so it's like and we had to prep for the show and finish writing the show and prepping and practicing for that and then uh some snowy mega stuff which uh you're seeing now it's just a busy effing December is always busy for us though, because it's we're going home, so we got to get all the holiday stuff done. But I'm excited. I'm gonna have to. My mom is gonna have to. I've been trying to prepare her for my jeweling habit. I'm like, mom, I'm gonna be doing it a lot around you. Really? You're just gonna have you're, to. You're, you're, you've you've come to terms with the fact that you're addicted to that thing. No, yeah, dude. I've, of course. You're not gonna make it a New Year's resolution to quit. I'd like to. Well, my New Year's resolution is to eat more and to gain weight and to eat breakfast every day. That's like my big one. Yeah. I wanna. 
I need to take better care of myself. I've, I've been losing weight and not well, eating enough. While Harrison and Jackson are there, you just get them to cook. <laughs> That's what they do, dude. Harrison will be like, like, I know Harrison wakes up in the morning, cooks himself breakfast. Just ask him to make like a like a little side. Well, usually he wakes up you. after I go to work. Oh, and okay. he doesn't always make himself breakfast. Okay, sometimes though, he well, tell him to make sure a bowl of cereal is laid out for you in the morning. Say Honestly, that, it's, or it's else so easy. Just eat a banana bowl of cereal, some yogurt, and coffee. It's like there. I got because when I don't eat breakfast. I don't realize it because I feel okay at first, but like later in the day, I feel awful. And it's because I didn't eat breakfast because I didn't give myself that like starting fuel. Most I'm, important meal of the day. California is not epic. California is not epic. Everyone who moves to California gets infected with liberalism and AIDS. They all just care about themselves and how they look and how they talk and how successful they are and how much money they make so they can... Have a sustainable income and live life just like everyone else. <laughs> Wait, speaking of, uh huh. Well, actually, it has nothing to do with that. Cool. You say you just wanted to change topics. Could have just said that. Well, let's. Can I? Can I change topics? Yeah, one hundred percent. I think it'd be something you want to talk about. Okay. Well, what do we do on Friday night? Wine and cheese yeah. night. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, we got to do more of that. That it was, was so much. That fun. was a really good night. Let's talk, let's talk about wine and cheese night. So <laughs> it was it was me, Ryan, and the Tucker bros, Jackson and Harrison. We all went over to Ryan's place. We got some, uh, we did some research on some wine and cheese pairings. We bought a couple bottles of Harrison wine. Harrison did all that. Yeah, well, Harrison did, Let's yeah. give him the credit. Let's give Harrison, the boys some credit. He knows his wine. He knows his food. He knows his cheese. You got a goofy one with an orange at the bottom? It didn't have an orange at the bottom. It was oh. an orange wine. Oh, an orange wine. Not made with oranges. I thought there were like bits in the bottom or something. Well, it, it, was, it was like, it's like a raw, unfiltered wine. So it's called an orange wine. Yeah. But I thought it's, there was uh, something in the bottom of the bottle for some It was just pulp from the grapes. Okay. Um, I think they don't take the skin off from the ah. grapes, and that's what makes it that way. But he he like went out and went to the like got a bunch of organic wines. Yeah, and they got were a weird. bunch of really good cheeses. Top, qu- you know me and cheese. I know you love cheese. God, that y'all were saying, oh, it's too much cheese. All all I was like was I want. Oh, you know what sucks. I didn't wrap up the cheese, so it wasn't good oh, for the next day. Ryan, I know we it was put such it in the good fridge. Cheese. It was. It was. There was that one covered in mold. I don't know what it was, but it was so good. Yep, the stinky cheese. Yeah, it had mold. The truffle all the cheese was good. Oh man, the brie was good. The parmesan or whatever. Yeah, the cheddar. It was also good. So we just had wine and cheese night, and then we like what we just Jackson and I played. Jackson Harrison and I would switch turns playing like Halo. We just chatted up outside. It was, that was a nice, super fun. It was, it was a nice we, uh, get together. My my hangover the next morning, I did not drink enough water. And we, we went through, what, five bottles of wine that night yeah. between the four of us? And, like, I, I don't know why, dude. You saw me the next day. You, you I were was on laying my, on the floor. You were. And I was just like, please bring me a You had a mirror right across from you, so you could have looked at yourself. I did. <laughs> and, and I had the dark circles under my eyes were so dark, and my hair was all messed up, and I wanted to die. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like most people my age can drink and hangovers don't even phase them i don't think i've ever had a hangover you're so lucky dude. i don't know why i just it's like don't it feels like hangovers. you have the worst flu i feel as if a, the same as if i smoked weed the night before it's like this like it's and very drink um, enough water yeah just dehydrated but i don't get like that oh headache and all oh, sounds s- suck yeah like, i don't, sucks, I don't get that stereotypical hangover i think i just get dehydrated and that's, jackson that's, doesn't get that's them. the lick of it jackson's like never had one really and then a lot of my friends never get them but i get them like as you age, around the time when you hit like 24, 25 is when you're supposed to start getting them more. Mm-hmm. Um, and like Harrison, he's 25, so he gets them really bad. So maybe I'll start getting them And soon. I'm glad someone else gets them. I'm not happy that he gets hangovers, but I'm like, oh, at least someone can share my pain the next day. Because like, I'll have is like there two no glasses way to stop of wine. A hangover? No, you just have to wait. I mean, wait, you, you, you can't like drink a bunch of water and it helps, stuff. But it, you kind of just have to wait. Actually, you were chugging Pedialyte, so. Yeah, one way to get rid of a hangover apparently is just drink more alcohol. Take a shower? Take a cold it helps, shower. But the last thing you want to do when you're hungover is drink more alcohol. Apparently, my, my grandma would do... Heroin gets you sober, apparently. From a hangover? Yeah. I don't think that works like that. Look it up. I'm pretty sure the come down from heroin well, is worse than a hangover. Coke will get you sober. I don't think it will. I think you'll just be really hyped up and ha- still have the hangover. Methamphetamine. Methamphetamine absolutely <laughs> won't. You'll have a crippling addiction. Also, speaking of which, did you know... I saw a, a, a new study recently on, like, the most addictive substances in the world. Mm-hmm. Nicotine is number two. It's heroin, nicotine, alcohol. We, uh, we both on that nicotine game. Uh, I wish I wasn't. I'm going to quit. You said yeah. that. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you out, Matt, because you deserve to be called out. 
You went down to threes, right? How long ago was that? Well, the only place to buy threes was closed. Daddy See, you're already, you're already defending yourself before the news is even out. You went back to sixes, boy. Fives. Sorry, fives. Five percent <laughs> nicotine Five. from three. Ooh. I'm just going to quit cold turkey. I'm not going to wean off. That's what those. I need to do with cigarettes. I think I, I just need to take a weekend and kind of have one of those detox weekends. You know what you could do? To take, get me started. We could take a week in camping where there's no cigarettes and you cannot smoke. That is true. And you'll just be out in nature. And you'll be too busy walking around and goofing off to even think about cigarettes. <laughs> Eh, but but then when you get back, you'll be tempted. Yeah. Just do it in your do it in your natural habitat. Don't puff those bad boy sticks. Fuck, I just got really hungry. Really? I only have 688 calories. Watching that weight? Oh, I am. Doing Weight Watchers? No, I'm you, doing... You texted me last night, and you were like, Matt, oh, I just ran two miles in five minutes. And I was texting you like, dude, congrats. Know, that's amazing. When I saw that, I was like, Matt. Well, I didn't think about it. Because my response like, was like, Matt. Nobody has ever run two miles in five minutes. Probably not. I guarantee someone has run two miles in five minutes. No, that's impossible. Dude, <laughs> there's no way someone's run up two miles in five minutes. There's guys that can run like 25 miles per hour. Those <laughs> long-legged on. guys. Hold on. Okay. From different countries, they can run. Fastest mile ran. What's the fastest mile ran? Okay. Is the current men's record, which means it's the top one. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, is three minutes and forty three seconds. Okay. While women's record is four minutes and twelve seconds. Hmm. Another point proving men are superior. Hmm. Looks like someone was built with better physical characteristics. Hmm. Looks like it. <laughs> well, Matt. What? Well, what? If I took my job seriously, as someone who talks for a living on Let's Plays and podcasts, you'd think I'd stop smoking. Yeah. Wouldn't, would. wouldn't you would. think? Wouldn't yeah. you think so? I would think so. Fucking bastion of, of life here. That's my lungs. Was that their username? No, that's my. Those are my lungs. That's what I call them. The bastion oh, the bastions of life. Of life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just start eating cigarettes, dude. It's not. It's it's your lungs don't get affected, and you still get that buzz. I wanna. I wanna quit soon. Like legitimately. Like, I, it's all about your mindset, dude. I know. I know. Just when you when when you're uh, do you need some motivation? Do you want us to all hold you to it and pick a date for you? No, because then at the end of the day, it's got to be for me. That's true. What if we helped you get pumped up though? Pumped up to stop smoking cigarettes? Yeah, I gotta build you up to it. Then I'm gonna be at a party, and someone's gonna be smoking. And you're gonna say, when I wake up in the morning tomorrow, looking back, will I be happier if I smoked that or if I didn't? It's just a social cigarette. I mean, it can, one can't hurt, Matt. <laughs> that's that's gonna be me. You're an addict. I know. I am. Yes. Bring, bring, I am. bring you with you to every party, and I'll 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 be a little like the devil's I'll advocate you. on your shoulder. I won't say a word all night. I'll just go in your ear. Like the second you see a cigar, I go. <laughs> and then you'll do that for as long as I'm smoking it. Just... Mm mm mm. R I P. Mm mm mm. Bad news. Bad News Bears starring Billy Bob Thornton. It's a shitty movie, dude. Got him. Fucking awful movie. What? What about uh, Binge Warmers with Napoleon <laughs> That's Dynamite? Even better, dude. And fucking Adam Sandler's friends. Rob Schneider and... David Spade. Cusco. Yep, David Spade. And was was uh, was Danny McBride not in that? I don't think so. Or who was the weird one? Was that Bill Hader that was in it? Dude, I, be honest, I haven't seen that no, movie Nick in Schwartz so long. No, Nick Schwartz. Nick Schwartz in it? I think he is. He's playing at the Just for Last Festival, and so are we, and you could still get tickets to that in Vancouver on Valentine's Day. Uh, I think they're getting close to being sold out, so better hurry. Ticket link's in the description! I didn't like that. Thing I just did. I don't know why I did that. Well, I'm keeping it. Don't. It's, an, it's cringy. It's living... a... all right. Cool. Bench uh, bench warmers. I liked it. I thought you were about to it. say Ben Shapiro. When I saw Ben Shapiro, <laughs> actually, I was driving the other day and I clicked AM radio, and the first thing I hear is an annoying high pitched voice, and then I realized it was Ben Shapiro. He was like, "We have we have we have, we have a saying in the Jewish community. It's a uh, hutzpa. Uh, 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 Michael Cohen's got to get a, get a little hutzpa." And I turned it off. Yeah. Just like a dummy would, like you would say, huh? You heard his dumb little high pitched voice. Is that what you said? So you're gonna you're gonna attack the man on the sound of his voice, no. but but not the not the weight of his ideas. Ryan, I'm attacking him on his lower testosterone levels. That's why his voice is like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Is Ben Shapiro a, a soy boy? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> we should get we should do what the Try Guys did and get our sperm counts tested. 
I guarantee you have a higher sperm count than me. Why? I feel like I have a very low sperm count. I think mine's low for another reason. <laughs> always, always draining the tub. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm spoofing 24-7, seven spoofing? days a week. How often when I call you are you jerking off? Never. Really? Actually. Well, do you ever have to, do you ever have to like, do I ever interrupt like the, the porn on your screen and it says Matt Watson calling you have to like answer? If I am it? masturbating and I see that you or anyone is calling me, I do not pick up. I, I, I complete the task. That would I call explain you back. several times I can think of right now where I called you and it just hung up. And I was oh, like, well, I'm just bad at answering my phone too. But also, but if, now from now on, every time you don't answer, I'm gonna be like, he's masturbating. Well, I mean, okay, here's the, here's, here's the but good. But the odds of you masturbating are probably pretty high. <laughs> here's a good test for you. If you're calling me and all of a sudden it goes click after like three rings, that's like me going, ah, I, 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 I gotta watch it. I, but I but now this. you're gonna be like, I don't want to think I'm masturbating. So you're gonna have to sit there and wait for the entire phone call to go through. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you know I'm masturbating. That's one thing about living with you. I never heard you masturbate once. Yeah, you just burst it in one time on purpose. I do remember that. Because Daniel told you to. You looked very shocked. Yeah, I was very shocked because I was masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's like any other reaction to that. It's gone. <laughs> I know. I'm in the most vulnerable position you're I can naked. be in. You're like, <laughs> you're stroking, you're slapping your shaft around. I am. And you just burst it in the room. Did your parents ever catch you jerking off? I'm, yeah, probably. I think my mom knew about it once because she brought it up at the dinner table or some shit. She was like, well, we know what you do in your room. We can hear it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Wait, really? She said that at dinner like ages ago. And you know, you know what gave, you know gave me away? What? My socks. Were you a sock splooger? <laughs> yeah. Did you have a one did you have one specific sock or was it just like, <laughs> like firing your load, like like filling up a like a cupcake tin <laughs> with batter? <laughs> just if I just needed a sock, dude. I was never a a, a sock splooger. I was more of a just go to the corner of my carpeted bedroom and soak the carpet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just the I didn't, one no, not corner. Really. But uh, <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Um, I, I was more of a this t-shirt ain't gonna be worn for a while. That's disgusting you're, when you think about it, mom. I'm sorry you had to do my when I was a teenager. All parents to, to deal with horny little boys. I remember one time my mom picked up one of my t-shirts from laundry. She's like, "What happened here?" I was like, uh, uh, "I was in bed and I blew my nose." At least we're not girls and fucking get caught humping pillows and shit or squirting blood all over the wall. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's the dad like walking in, it's like blood just because <laughs> he's proud of his little girl for growing up. No, he's not. She's a woman now. He's not. She's not daddy's little girl anymore. He has to put her in a fucking tin box, and ship her away to somewhere to, to the woods, somewhere for a week. safe, so so she can't infect everyone else with her period, her witch, her witch magic. Is there anything you want to end this podcast on, Matt? I mean, I thought that was a pretty good topic to end. Okay. Jerking off and squirting period blood, <laughs> dude. It's Super mega, dude. Yeah, dude. Super mega. <laughs> We're back, baby. 2019. <laughs> Unfiltered. Uncensored and uncut. Bigger, badder, and more badass. Wait, bigger, better, and more badass. Like Gears of War 2. Okay. I like that. Is there a hook up here? Nope. What do, I, what do we do? Can you stop smoking in the recording room? Sorry. So my addiction's kind of... <coughs> gotten gotten uh i wish you would just smoke during let's plays how long would it take for them to kick us out of the recording office if one like... session no i feel like one session you can get away with it you think yeah how do i get this fucking ball out of here There's something over here that did you bring the copenhagen winter hey, mint hey i got one button pressed you're not answering me did you bring the dip no i really need some dip i'm sorry quit smoking and just start dipping dude it's 2019 everyone's dipping it's what's in just... this is fucking hard dude What's up guys, it's the YouTube Brothers. That's right, and uh, we're gonna start today off by saying, stop smoking, don't smoke, throw out those cigarettes and jewels, folks, because now, Super Mega is officially cigarette and jewel free. We are. Smoke free, baby. Smoke free. We did this it, we quit. A, this is a smoke free podcast now. And we wanted to, we wanted to wow. wait, what, did you knock something over? The hell was that? I don't know. Shit was loud. It was a remote, I oh, think. Oh, okay. We wanted to, we wanted to wait to tell you guys, to yeah. make sure we committed. We have now been smoke free, nicotine free for well over a week, almost yep. a week and a half now. Yep, yep. We quit. And if, and We're I don't done. feel I don't feel the craving for it. I feel I, great. I've switched out the cravings for if I want to go uh, take a drag off of a cigarette, I'll just go for a walk instead. And that's and like it, the best thing you could replace it with. And it feels good. So so uh, seriously, if you if if you would like to join us in this smoke free podcast, you know, 
quit. Yeah, throw that, you know, you're smoking on your way to work or school. Or, you're smoking on your way to elementary school right now. You think you look cool? You don't, you don't. <laughs> It, uh, I, I replaced it with I chew on I chew on toothpicks now. Yeah, I stick a toothpick in my mouth like a cool little uh, like like a like a brawler like I'm gonna beat someone's ass at a bar. You had more of an oral fixation. Yeah, you know me with oral. <laughs> <laughs> but I like uh, you know you know how I decided to quit one day. I was just like, uh, you know what? I keep uh, saying I'm gonna quit. If I if if I don't just uh, do it, I'm not going to. So uh, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, one morning I woke up and I was just like, I'm gonna do it right now. What I'm not gonna build up to, I'm just gonna do it. So I, I gathered my jewels, I gathered my pods, I gathered my chargers, and I, I gave them to the Tucker bros and I was like, take them, just just do something with them. I'm done. And it sucked. It sucked for about three or four days. I was like, Ugh! The second day was still the worst of the second it day. That I remember. Second day is the worst. But um like for me, you remember, like I had been trying to quit for about like two or three weeks. And then you quit jewel, jeweling, and then I was like, you know what, I'll make this a buddy thing so we can keep our, like each other accountable. And then, lo and behold, boom, teamwork is what did it. The power of friendship. So if you want to quit, quit with us. With your favorite YouTubers, the YouTube brothers, quit with us. Throw away those jewel pods, take those cigarettes, throw them in the trash, and douse them in gasoline. Do it right now. Don't <laughs> wait. Don't say, oh, I'll have one last smoke, or I'll do it, Here. I'll do it later. Just do it right now. We'll, we'll That's the best you, way we'll, to do it. Just we'll, do it right now. We'll give you a stretch right now. We'll just we'll just kind of hum a little song as you go throw your cigarettes and jewels away. Okay, what song? Um, okay, uh... Uh... Oh, 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 it's magic. You know... You should not smoke. smoke. Throw it's away mad. those cigarettes, cigarettes and jewels. jewels. Or vapes of any sort. Okay. I hope that was enough time. If not, just pause the video and then come back. Um, but yeah, guys, yeah, I feel good. I feel more more clear and clean. Send us videos of you fucking throwing your cigarettes away in a trash can and dousing them in Diet Pepsi or whatever soft drink or gross liquid you have. Because then you won't be tempted to pull them back out. Like, use milk. Use milk. Use chocolate milk. Yeah, sure. That's going to be nasty. Because because then if you get the, the urge and you're like, ah, just kidding, I'm going to pull them back out and smoke Because them. that's what nope. I, I actually did that one time. I threw them away in the trash that, the, that, that quote unquote first time I tried to quit. Yeah. And then I was like, I threw them in the trash this morning, and I feel good. Later that night, I was like, <laughs> just reached in and pulled one out. Was there like gross shit on them? No. Oh, okay. They were at the top of the trash. See, See that, the that's top of the mistake. trash, baby. You didn't. You, you just put them somewhere. That's essentially all you did. Dude, my addiction got so bad that one time I was like, I'm out of cigarettes, and so I like started being like, I need to have one, and I went out into my car to like search like under my car, like under my seat and everything, and I found a cigarette that. It was under my seat. And I was like, oh, yes! And I really, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, no more. You're not controlled. It doesn't have its chains around you. Now you control it. I swear to God, if, if like, the next podcast is me coming in, okay, guys, I, I had a really bad week, and I broke, and I'm a smoker again. Well, you can't that now. Is, no. you, you've, like, committed. You have, you've publicly announced it to 100,000 you know people. You know what? I'll let 2019, like, Ryan's image be, like, no smoking. But I have to think, like... I have to think of the channel and what's best for it. There has to be some drama that occurs for 2020 because no. things can't be good all the time. So some drama has Says to who? occur. Says who? Says huh? who? I'm not talking about in real life. I'm talking about what we conjure up for the audience to believe. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. Like how we're doing this thing where we said we quit smoking, but we actually didn't. I know. And so that's going to like get people to build up this character. Like we're not smokers anymore. And so when 2020 Ryan hits and like the, the drama happens, then I can be a smoker and I can shave my head bald because, you know, my long hair is like a thing right now. Yeah. I'll shave it bald and I'll start smoking again. So people will like start making like epic images of like dark Ryan. Dark Ryan? Dark Ryan. But, but like, but like not like, not like black Ryan. <laughs> like... We need those um we need those dark versions of our characters that 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 some YouTubers have for some reason that they have like a dark version of themselves like Jack? an evil well Sean has one Yeah Sean has one what's it scary J Jack Septic <laughs> I don't know what it's called dude. Evil man Does it not have a name Evil green man <laughs> I'm scared of evil green man The uh oh scary man The scary YouTuber version <laughs> Aren't we excited for John Wick three? Oh hell, my hell yeah! Oh my god! We're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna go drink before. We're gonna go to like a drink tiki at bar. The movie? We're gonna go to tiki bar, yeah. Oh, we're gonna I'm gonna be. We're going to the tiki room in Disney. Matt, World I can't be the only one getting a getting a glass of wine at the theater. Ryan, do you know what you're talking to? 
You you know how drunk this I get. Is we know how much I drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much I drink. <laughs> you know how much alcohol I consume. You, Ryan? you know how, <laughs> how yeah, much. Who I am? It's like my defining character trait, Ryan. I'm Come on. Honking on the crack pipe. Honking <laughs> on the crack. Pipe. <laughs> Sitting in the theater in John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> like a little, a little bit of tin foil on top. <laughs> you, hear like, you hear like people in the audience just. Cause dude, if you're sitting in a movie theater watching John Wick three and you smell crack, you're like, all right. I like, like, what does crack even smell like? I, I don't uh, know. What does it smell like, man? Let's figure out. Like, that's a funny smelling cigarette he's got. <laughs> no, it was like Jackson. What you did? You had a coke can. You just crack it open in the movie. Just chug it down. Then you get like a knife and cut a little hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna, I, you want to try getting a coke can through security at one of these? <laughs> a I'm firearm just, maybe, but a coke can. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be easier to get crack and a firearm through movie theater security than a fucking. We just, put the, just shove the crack up your ass. We, well, we do live in a new age of like security or the, the uh, pussified American man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait in, in the theater because now they're always now before uh, introducing bells? the theater and the arc light and stuff. They, you know how they're usually like your cell phone, silence your cell phone, don't talk. Now they have to add in please no vaping. Put your gun on safety. No, they crack. do. They do. They last time they told people not to vape in the theater. When I, it's when not I, hurting anybody. I yeah. I, I remember when I was a when I was a jewel head. Um, I remember like I you would... saw a movie and just these this blue light every like five seconds from Matt right next to oh me like God, it's so Matt bad. Matt would like they put his using an old he like, duck into his camper, shirt but it was just he, the blue he duck into the his shirt and vape and blow it into his shirt and try to like choose the perfect time when to let out smoke in the theater because like, there's never the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it made it like one of those 4D rides <laughs> like at Disney. After like a fire scene or an explosion, I'll just like take a couple rips of the jewel. So then, uh, you know, it, it's it's more 4D for everybody else. The goddamn that mint smell from the mint jewel is terrible. Yeah, you remember that? Do you do you miss it? No. I, I was. Do, do you miss like would, when you guys would lay on the couch falling asleep? Would you guys ever hear me drooling in bed like the oh, crackling? Yeah. Like oh, I started collecting all your pods for a while. Oh my god, Harrison surprised me one day. He's like, these are all the pods you've left around the apartment, and it was like 40 pods. My very thing, I found all the jewels that left around the apartment because he would lose them and just buy a new one. Actually, I literally. I like, how, like how he stole mine, then lost it, and so he had to buy me a new one, and then took, took that one. Also, so Matt, well, because you didn't want it. One hidden in the house. Like, <laughs> so also, Matt was like, it. Matt was like, I don't smoke anymore. Hide them all. So I literally took the jewels and put all the ends up my ass. So if we ever would smoke them again, what like, did you? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait. Harrison ends up getting a nicotine buzz. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now Harrison jewels like that every day. Yeah. Remember that video we saw it's that? Wait, remember that video we saw once? It's a kid, Jackson, that woman like smoking a cigar in her pussy. Of course I remember that. <laughs> okay. Jackson and I watched some of that the it other sounds night. sounds vile. <laughs> uh, that's like, that's like, like, Lung cancer, but I guess just straighten the puss. You get a crazy buzz. <laughs> I love of that you. grimace Ryan just oh. did. Because it's gross. Ryan, you wouldn't need a woman out after she smokes a cigar. Imagine like she get like a big no, because I remember going like wow. to the cigar so, merchant when so I was Ryan, 18. You'll what? You'll kiss a woman after smoking. <laughs> but you Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king, Jack. <laughs> king of the castle. I'm the king, baby. <laughs> But I remember like coming back from the cigar merchant when I was 18 going like to the I, It was just a bunch of Is kids going to the cigar merchant <laughs> 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 And like coming home and smelling like that up until the next morning like my work uniform would smell like it Cigars I would taste are so gross the next day. I love smoking them every now and then like on a, on a rare occasion smoking a cigar is like very like with a glass of whiskey or something That's nice but when have you ever done this? Matt you, just Harrison? Matt just talking about the <laughs> heard him more than anything. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I don't think I ever have whiskey in a cigar without vomiting. So I remember when we were in France with our friend because you can get Cubans there, just drinking so much you can get pastilles. Cubans, Cubans there? Yeah, you can uh, get actual Cuban children. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just just smoking Cuban cigars and drinking all this like anise flavored liquor, and just Ugh. sweating it all out the next day, and just feeling miserable. That sounds miserable. It was. Let's go do it. I'm I'm good. Um, but our live show is fun. Uh, we sit down, we do like podcast, we do this, we just sit and talk for a while. Um, we take several segments from like the channel, and like for this, for the last tour, we did drunk drawing, and um, we did an eating segment at, on each tour. Where we would like, like for instance, Ryan would go out the day we're in the city, so like we're, we were in Seattle, Ryan went out to a supermarket across the street, got some really gross shit, and uh, filmed himself making it in the green room. Made you a big, uh... Bowl of chowder. A cup. 
a cup of chowder and then a you mug of chowder. Yes, a mug of chowder. And then you premiered it on stage, the video of you making it moments before we went on stage. And uh, I had headphones on, so I, di I didn't know what you were putting in it. And mm -hmm. then I got to eat it live on stage like one of our gross cooking videos. Yeah. And we also just have a good time. We do a Q&A talk you can get some exclusive merch. You poisoned me on the last show. I did. <laughs> yeah. That's technically poisoning someone. Mm. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Define poisoning. If let me put it this way, if I put an edible in something you ate and gave it to you without you knowing, that's different though because that's a long. Bill term Cosby fucking... did that to fucking women. Yeah, Ryan, you can't compare me putting dip on a salad to Bill Cosby <laughs> drugging and raping women. Well, I just those did. are not this. Yeah, but no, they're completely different ballpark. That they're they're of the same ill. Bill Cosby roofing women is not the same as me putting chewing tobacco on a salad and giving you a heads up. Hey, there's I something felt gross very on it. I taking advantage of Matt. I I was trying. To, I didn't I was, do anything I quit goofy. Nicotine. And here my I took a bite of it too, and it was gross as fuck. It was winter yeah, green. Yeah, but who ate the whole fucking like? I gave you. Of I dip? gave you. I gave you a heads up before we went you on didn't stage. Tell me what it was. You said don't swallow it. I'm I like, said oh, okay. don't go for the sinner. Listen, and I will say I it's gross. You were being nice. No, I said legitimately. Throw up I said stage. don't go for the sinner. And then you went for the sinner. You put the whole wad of dip in your mouth. You chew it, and I look at you, and you don't have a good look on your face. And I go, Ryan. I'm being serious. Don't swallow that. I told you not to go for the center. You did. And you thought I was just going for a bit, and then you swallowed it. I was and I was going like, for a bit. I thought you were just like, oh, it's too gross. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. No, I legitimately mean like, don't I, swallow it because it's chewing ever tobacco. I swallow stuff. So I'm going to swallow it right here, right now, just to prove like, I, I can be up there with the big boys. I can, Matt swallows everything I feed him. Giggity. Ha 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 ha. And then all of a sudden, Ryan's like, I feel weird, man. I feel really weird. No, you were like, so do you feel weird? I was like, what? It was like this fucking Bond villain moment where I was like, what? You're but like, do you feel uh, buzzed? And I was like, did you put cigarettes in the salad? And he's like, no. I'm like, did unfortunately you did, worse. Did you pour vape juice in it? And you're like, no. Like, that would have been the better option. And all of a sudden, you were like, I think someone yelled it out, or I can't remember how. Yeah, I knew it, but it was dip. When, when I when I figured out that it was what was it? What was it? Fucking wintergreen. It was some. It was a little garnish of uh, wintergreen. Um, Copenhagen. Stuff. Yeah, and also uh, when we launch Patreon, we'll make sure we throw those videos on there so you can watch this. The video of me preparing the salad for Ryan. It's fucking gross. Um, but you you ate the dip, uh, and you got like a crazy buzz on stage, and it. When you swallow dip, that that buzz does not go away. That shit lasts for like 15 it's minutes. It's a different type of buzz, too. It's, it's the very same type of buzz one. you get when you uh, do a nicotine gum. Oh, it's I awful. hate that type it's of buzz. Awful. It's awful. It's all the in worst. your gut. Yeah, it's all in your gut. And like in your throat, you feel your throat buzz. Your throat like, feels oh. tight. So I... Ivan's like the buzz of a cigarette, ladies and gentlemen. But we don't smoke no more. No, we so. don't. I, course, uh, but, you know. I took a jewel rip at, at the Seattle show. A you fan did. said, took, do you want to rip on my jewel? Rips. And then in front of the crowd, I took a little jewel rip. I was drunk, though, so that will be my excuse. Um, but I have quit. Uh, however, I took a bite of the salad I made you, too, because I was like, it's only fair. I didn't swallow it, but just putting it in my mouth gave me a crazy buzz. And it was horrible. It's a horrible flavor. The salad dressing was the juice from maraschino cherries mixed with ranch dressing and... Uh, Ranch dressing powder and the gooey juice oh, from a, pure, a can of Purina dog chow uh, on some lettuce and tomatoes that I got off of a sub sandwich at a corner store. Um, There's some fruit snacks in there. There was a dip garnish and there was some other stuff. I don't remember though. It was gross though. There's some pepperoni from the sub sandwich. I put it down. You did. Like for real. Bravo. I thought that you would not be able to even get past like, a little bit. one try and I put it down. I put down, I swallowed everything you gave me. You did. It was horrible, man. It was horrible. I gave you a jar of poutine in Canada. Yep. You and Finn Wolfhard cooked up on stage a delicious little jar of poutine for me. No video for that because that was done live on stage instead of yeah. a video. It was... I like making the videos though. Yeah, I like making the videos too. Um, but it's ugh. Yeah. Icky. I can still taste the salad if I think about it. Like, I could still exactly what, you know, it, ta it well, tasted like. I can like. taste another ad read. Me too. Welcome back. Another episode where I'm going to open up this big old chest. Ooh. And then I'm going to go to Matt. Never mind. No. What? Just, just that, fucking say it. I want to start it off. Were you going to compare me to Goofy? No, I was going to say I'm going to go to Matt's mom's house and open up her chest. Like, with before. a knife. With open heart surgery? <laughs> Ryan, you she saved her life. She calls and it pissed me off. <laughs> And you find out that she has like a heart murmur and just give her a heart transplant. Ryan, you saved my mom's life. Yeah. And you're like praised as a hero for like non-consentingly giving my mom open heart surgery. 
but everyone, but I made everyone, her better. So it's like, why would she can't she be like mad? <laughs> I don't know. Because really, it's such would a you be it, mad? It, it, it's a catch twenty two, man. Yes, I'd be mad. Why? Because you like, whoops. You like, obviously, somehow knocked me out with like sedatives or something. Gave me like barbiturates and then performed open heart surgery on me without yeah, my but knowledge. Yeah, you better and you're healthier. Well, that's why it's the ultimate catch 22. That's a really good question. Uh, I, I would be mad, yeah. Would I'd say I'm thankful Come for on. what Ryan did, but at the same time, he had no uh, permission to cross those boundaries of opening my chest up and performing on my most vital organ. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> As you can I was tell. just waiting. I, I'm just like, yep. Just waiting. I, I, it's really okay. I gotta get better at discussing shit and. Oh, dude, I'm bad at it. Stupid buttons. Well, especially when you're high on crack, it's hard. When ch Matt. What? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't expect Justin to actually. D don't use that, Justin. It was a slide at Ryan. It was a joke. Okay, so what? Ever since I stopped smoking, I picked up crack. To kind of soften the nicotine fall, you know, uh, it's the word. Are you telling me or the viewers? Telling both. I'm telling the viewers, but you already know. Maybe you got dark circles on your. You're, you're creeping in my territory. <sighs> Whatever, dude. I don't need to be judged. This isn't funny, guys. Like, crack is like where was where was the joke in that? <laughs> Ryan just said he takes crack now. <laughs> that was the joke. That his life is infinitely worse? Oh, Ryan's addicted to drugs now. <laughs> oh my god, your veins look fucking freakish on your arm. Oh yeah. Hold it, let's keep that. I gotta take a picture. Holy shit, dude. Jesus what? Christ. That's that's what happens when your arms are skinny. Jesus, dude. That's fucking crazy. I'm, do you let me, let me put, see the picture. Let me see the picture. I put that in the podcast? Oh my god. What the fuck? I know! Oh my god, that's disgusting. Can I please I, put that in the podcast? I, I think a big part of that's the lighting, but also because I, really I have wanna... such skinny oh, Jesus. Can I get your permission to put Yeah, go it? ahead. Okay. Here, there's the picture. That's the little, look at the screen. That's my, uh... Wow. Uh, am Ooh, I like... Fucking lord, am I like family tree. Am I like transforming right now into, into like, some like bean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're transforming into a plant. See, this arm's Those fine. Roots. Yeah, that, that arm's perfectly it's fine. It's probably because of the angle I have this arm is cutting off the circulation, and then the light is kind of harsh on it. God, you, I, I don't know Look why. Look at this. Looking at, looking at your arm, specifically that arm, is making me realize just how, how quick life could be taken away. Like, you could accidentally just, like, s something could happen, and it could slice through your arm in a way, and not even go that deep, and all those veins are cut, and it's just, like, you're passing out within a few seconds, and you're done. Is this the big one right there? Is that, wait, that one, it goes through right there. Oh, that's, like, one, two, three, four, ah, Dude, you got Jesus veins. Christ. Do you ever think about how weird that is, like, the layers of your body, you know, you got the bones, but then you have, on top of that, like, your whole body, you have this crazy, like, highway of tubes that just send blood through everything, just back and forth. It's really cool. It's so fucking cool. There was this interesting picture that I saw. I think it was, um, like, a skeleton in a 300-pound person's body. I saw that, too. And, like, seeing how the body, like, because the skeleton and, doesn't and, change, yeah, but you, you watch how it, like, morphs around and, like, it. you see it, and you're like, oh, my God, that's, like, it makes me want to be healthy, because it's like, yeah, I am putting extra weight on this frame that I have. Like, your frame doesn't change. And I know, like, it's like, oh, duh, Ryan. But it's just one of those things where you know it, but it solidifies it when you see it type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, like, the whole nerve system, like, the nervous system. Fuck the nerve system. Sometimes it feels like I'm being, like, bit by a bug. And also, I'm like, what was that? And then I scratch, and it's like, oh, that was just a nerve being stupid. Oh, and it's like, yeah, like, you get those sudden little, like, pricks somewhere. Yeah. I uh, What are those? Do we know what those are? It's just, like, a nerve firing off, being being dumb, you know, goofing. Isn't there a thing, like, this, uh, they don't know how to explain it, or maybe they do, but, like, all of a sudden, like, your nerve endings fire off, and, it be, and it's, like, so fucking excruciatingly, like, painful. I can't remember what it is, but I remember it's like your nerves are reacting to nothing. Oh my god! But dude, they're I, acting as if you're experiencing like something very painful. I that I don't want to. I, I didn't want to know that. Now I'm gonna be terrified. It's just gonna be like enjoying my day. Like ah, could today get any better? Ah! <laughs> just like all of my nerves at once, like the most excruciating <laughs> pain. 
That that might be a made up thing, but if it's not, that sounds horrible. I know it's not made up. Brain aneurysms, dude. Brain aneurysms are horrifying. That's how um, I think uh, some people, some of my uh, higher up family members, have died from aneurysms. Apparently, Amelia Clark has had two brain aneurysms uh, while working on Game of Thrones. Really? Yes. I know, but they can be stress related. Isn't aneur? It's it's basically just when a, a blood vessel in your brain pops, right? That's why I'm I'm honestly scared when I play like when I'm playing Sekiro. Sometimes I'll stop and think, or when I'm playing a really hard game like Cuphead at some point, and I'm like, if this is causing me so much stress, is it possible that I'll just get a brain aneurysm and all of a sudden like someone will come to my house and because my Xbox isn't gonna like turn off, they'll come to my house, see that I was playing Sekiro, see me dead on the floor, and be like, yep. Another one uh, bites the dust. Video, <laughs> video games one, humans zero. <laughs> Dude, I just fucking like aneurysms scare the ever living shit out of me because it's like it can just happen to anybody like at any time. Well, I don't like our age. That's not common, of course. Like aneurysms happen maybe uh, la- later on. I forgot. Uh, there's something that like really elevates your risk for an aneurysm, and I, I don't remember what it was. Um, I know, but like, just like smoking and drinking and stuff like that, like naturally well, increases your levels, like as life goes on for like heart attacks, strokes, oh, yeah. and I was about to say like smoking increases, like my, my, I don't think my family has the best history when it comes to uh, heart. Same. My stuff. family has some pretty so, bad heart stuff. Like it's a good thing we stopped smoking. Yeah. No. Okay. I'm not going to lie guys. Look, I know you're going to call it cheating and I really didn't quit, but when I was in Japan, we were at a bar and we were drinking wine and every now and then I would, I would pop one off just because it was a nice little moment. It's vacation. I didn't bring it back home. No, nope. I, d- I didn't bring the habit back home. It stayed in Japan, but like, I'm just, I, I feel like I need to be honest where it's like, yeah, I haven't smoked a single cigarette no, since same. I quit. It's I, like, we, we all, all, all four of us, when we'd be at a bar for that, that, that mood, that atmosphere, like yeah. when we went to the bar from Lost in Translation, it's like, Shit. well, we got, we got some whiskey, you gotta have a cigarette. Gotta have a nice there. glass of wine, some fucking, uh, some nuts, uh, some nuts and, and, uh, what are they also called? Are they just a bunch of nuts? Just a bunch of nuts. Bunch of nuts. Is a cashew a nut? A cashew is a nut, yes. They're just all nuts. Mixed nuts. We have mixed just a nuts, bunch yeah. of mixed nuts. And um, I really, like, the first time I tasted a cigarette again, I was like, fuck, these are gross. Yeah. I forgot how fucking awful these are. But when for some reason, when you're drunk, you taste the cigarette less. Or well, I you, do. You taste alcohol less when you're drunk, and that's how you get more drunk because, you know, if you're fully sober and you do a shot of, like, let's say, scotch or whiskey, like, yeah. that's horrible. But if, if you're a... Uh, you know, really drunk, you do a shot of whiskey, like, you just don't even really taste it. Because your your faculties, your facilities begin to shut off the more drunk you get, you know? Yeah. You want to read some ads? Let's read some fucking ads. Um, my answer is, like, something Iron Giant related, or, like, Iron Giant something. <laughs> <laughs> Milk and cigarettes. Nope. <laughs> Matt, when I said, you stay, I go... That was that was a quote from the Iron Giant that I was trying to that I was trying They're to cheating. Sink they were cheating. Clearly not. That's a I got double wrong. That's a double loss for cheating. And I've quit cigarettes. That's so much whipped cream. So you're being hot. <laughs> <laughs> you really had to you really give me quite the experience. Wait, can, you ta- can you take from off the, the bottom of my neck? Can you take off the glasses? Up and then just a nice finish. <laughs> Like a cartoon character with the glasses on. Totally. Oh, foggy. Can I reverse it? Can I? Can I dive in? Stop! Stop! Yeah. yeah. Dan, Dan. Don't fucking don't. Oh, Billie Eilish did that. She make a spider come out of her mouth. What? That's she, black magic, dude. I'm not watching that shit. She make eyes white. <gasps> <laughs> Billy. We 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 should start doing um. I, I'm gonna start wearing those like contact lenses that just make. Your iris is white, so it's just the tiny little black pupils, and that's it. <laughs> no, like, I'd like I get Manson. contacts that just it it's all white, except it makes my eyes look like they're going in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, aren't those contacts really bad for you? Like the colored ones? Like, can't they really fuck up your eyes? Yeah, you'll uh you'll listen to a lot of actors and people who have to wear them. Like one of the biggest examples is uh you know in Twilight they the vampire characters yeah. have to wear those contact lenses, and it's like. They just burn and they're uncomfortable, and uh, I think uh, what's his name? He's real. He's actually a decent actor, but he get he got a lot of shit for Twilight. Um, 
What's his fucking name? And Joe Rogan. No, no, no. You know who I'm talking about. He was, oh, he played Edward? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, he's like... He's good. He was saying, like... I think this was in an interview. He was just saying how he... If he looked uncomfortable during filming, the contacts just helped with his performance. Because, like, he'd be like... <laughs> yeah, I, I heard they heard it. We should get the Naruto ones, like the sh- Sharingan or <laughs> however you say cat it. ones. <laughs> cat. Oh, be so cringy, dude. Let's get the ones that just make your like entire eye black, like uh, Marilyn. Mar- I think Marilyn Manson wears those. What would you do if I sharpened all of my teeth, like with a file? So they were just like, no. You know how you know there's people out there who like have filed all their teeth to all be sharp, and so they like inter- like it looks like a shark's mouth. Why? What? Like I feel okay. I bite my tongue a lot by accident. If I bit my tongue with some sharp ass teeth like that, you know, no fun. Or if I'm riding a bike. And I and I go over the handlebars like that's just such an easy way to bite your tongue off by accident because I bit my tongue severely hard several times. But, you know, my teeth aren't sharp enough to ever do any real damage. So you don't need sharp teeth. You already have canines. I know. They do the ripping and the tearing for you. I think the ancient Egyptians did that. I think they filed their teeth down into like shapes and they'd get jewels embedded in them. Like like the nicotine jewel like that they would smoke. So they (laughs) they never have to. Worry about losing their jewel. Of course, they would I just mean, always have there. There's those famous hieroglyphs of, of her with straight up just holding a jewel pod, <laughs> asking the. Uh... If the commenters don't believe me, then go to our Reddit. I'm pretty sure someone's made a meme of it. Absolutely, it there. <laughs> hieroglyphs of like jewel pods and like a jewel <laughs> charging dock. She she was huge into jeweling, man. Dude, I'm saying like as a smoker. Vaping never did it for me, but jeweling was the closest thing that felt like a cigarette intake. And that's why I got so addicted to it was because it's so Cause, much nicotine. Because with um with vaping, it's like, and then it gets sharp and you could like cough it up. But like with a jewel, there's that like singular sharp <gasps> yeah. of, of a hit. Exactly. And, and, you... and just the buzz was wild. Don't worry. We're still good, boys. Don't don't worry, y'all. Don't, don't go jeweling. It's so bad. And it's so... Unbelievably hard to quit. Trust me, it yeah, was. Every now and then, you want to take a take a little take a little piece of daddy's grass, grind it up, and then and then and then smoke it. When you're over twenty one, in a legal state, <laughs> it's sexy though. That's gonna be a, that's yeah. That's the Ryan just farted, guys, and it. Uh, that's not gonna be a funny one. That's gonna be the. That's not gonna be one of the funny haha toots. That's gonna be one of the ones that's just. Oh, it hasn't hit me over here, buddy. I don't know if I want to. Uh, should I get up? I don't know, maybe. Should I blow air more away from me? I don't know. Is it bad? It's not If you're good. saying it's bad, it's, it's bad. It's not good, but it's not the worst. I feel like I'm bracing for like a, like a missile strike. Like I'm like hiding it. I wish you could, like your glasses, you could press a button, you could see like where it is. in red the vapor of like where it's spreading. Or do you think that would make you more scared? No, because I'd be able to avoid it easy. It's scary when it's invisible, dude. It's literally it's, it's like it literally an invisible like force that I have no idea if it's an inch from me right now or three feet. I just gotta say, Welcome. also, fuck people that fart in a public crowded place because you're like, no one will know it's me. No one wants to smell that shit. I hate when I'm in an elevator or some shit and someone does. I'm like, really? Like, next time you smell it, you should be like, there it is, Ryan. It just hit me. There I'm it sorry. is. <sighs> Not good. I'm sorry, buddy. I, I give that one a two out of ten. Really? Then what would the one with in the park? Then what would the one in the parking lot be rated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love how like you all you have to say is the one in the parking lot, and I instantly know what you're talking about. <laughs> one time, Ryan, we were dropping Ryan off after were we filming drunk drawing or something? Something. And I dropped you off in a parking lot to go to your car, and uh, as you were getting out, you, you you let one loose without telling anybody, and you went and got in your car and just watched <laughs> as inside my car, me and Jackson Harrison just lost our <laughs> shit. It was. <laughs> One of the most foul things I've ever smelled in my life. Like, you, I don't, you'll never be able to rival that. Like, that one was, we all had to get out of the car. How did you do that? I don't know. I think when I eat healthier, my farts are even worse than when I eat, like, shit. That's what I was eating, just kind of like a lot of greens and eggs and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to eat, don't, don't, don't get healthy, Ryan. <laughs> I need to. As I said in the recent Let's Play, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting tubby again. We both. I'm getting thick again, baby. I feel like we both have. There's such a lot potential. to grab and hold on to, though. I know, and I like that. Right? There's a little motion in my ocean. Yeah, you know, I I like uh, it, it's very um. I feel like we both have potential because 
as as a super super skinny person, I uh, am able to like if I if I try to gain weight, it can show up pretty quick because there's not much like barrier to break through. Yeah, and you have the potential to. Look like a fucking Greek god. You'll you'll be Not such a Chad, that, dude. I lost. I lost. Like, let me think. I was around two thirty at one point. I don't and know you, what you I went to. Now. You went to one eighty at I, one point, right? I went to one seventy eight. Fuck. So that was. Let's just round it up to one eighty. So that's 50, 50 pounds. Fifty fucking pounds. I lost. And now I've probably gained. I would say honestly, since then. I've gained most of it back. I probably gained forty pounds back. No, but you're not. I, I know. I know you said that you're like in a in a recent uh, let's play that I don't even think is out yet. You were saying how you're like my two lovely uncles level uh, back in that music video. I feel like I'm. You're I'm, not. I'm you're not towards that. No, dude, go back. Go back and watch my two lovely uncles. You were you were much much like I felt so bigger. Much better, not because I looked better, but because I was like I just felt more energized. Well, they go hand in hand, right? It's they do. like. You you feel better physically, but also I feel like your self esteem is higher. You're more confident when you yeah. look better as well. So I you're generally more happy. Works. And, and yeah. a, about a year ago, like if you go back to like last May or like April or March and and watch like the mail opening videos, I I had I gained you had a lot of you gained a lot of meat in like your my uh, face kind and of my like neck collarbone yeah my neck arms and stuff. because I I I think I was yeah I was twenty pounds more a year ago and then. Uh, honestly, what did it was when I started nicotine. Like nicotine just made me lose so much weight because I was yeah. never hungry. A lot of people, uh, when they go on diets, they start smoking more. Don't do that, guys. That's that's that that will fully negate the effects of any diet. Like, um, it, it's great to be off nicotine now. I just need to start actually exercising to gain weight. Me, 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 me. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> I uh, I love and being then. on stage. <laughs> I love being on stage. It's so much fun, especially with you. Like, I have a blast, like, improv with you on stage. I'm it's... very comfortable with performing with you on stage. Yeah, me too. Like, when, <laughs> before we get on, it's so nerve-wracking, but, like, once you're up there, I guess the adrenaline, like, you ride it out, um, and you just kind of, like, mesh with the audience and, like, feel it out and have fun. I had to give them such a cocktail of, like, horse tranquilizers and speed just to get them on stage. The mixture works really well, though. It, yeah. it, 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 it works, kills yeah. the it kills the nerves. There's actually medication you get specifically for stage fright. I'm pretty sure it's just like Klonopin it's just, or something. It's just popping a Valium up your ass. You just so stick a Valium play. straight up your ass. I have a confession. Oh, no. Y'all already know, but this is to the fans. I get so nervous and so, like, oh, anxiety-ridden, I guess, before that I, I do, uh, when I'm on tour, I do pick up smoking again. And that has carried over into my personal life, so yippee for me. But, guys, I, I do want to say, Ryan, I appreciate the fact that you're willing to just tell everyone and not try to hide it. That's very. I, I don't want to be 25 and be smoking. Your birthday is coming. My up birthday soon. is coming up very soon, so I. I tried so to I buy you a pack sure. of 50, Amer 50 packs of American Spirit. <laughs> it was 200, <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> we're not, we're not buying that for Ryan. <laughs> I still, I still am off the jewel. I, uh, I, I, I quit wow. that. Okay, Ryan. No, I've I, I, and that's like, no, because people, well, you know, we can't all be as good as me. <laughs> it's not what I mean. I I've dropped drama, uh, I think it's stage fright back. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, huh? Confidence is attractive. It was more attractive humility. Yeah, it was more attractive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was so hot, man. To the right, to the right. <sighs> Let's go to the security tunnel of the oh, Mermelayer. Uh, Why are there dude. evil things in the Mermelayer? Huh? Because the robots have taken over everything, dude. Okay, elevator. Cool. Oh, that looks hard. Okay, so I, did, I, I guess this one's pretty straightforward. Can I turn off the AC? Yeah, please. Are you cold? Yes. Do you need me to warm you up? No. Why don't we ever let's play just sitting on each other's laps? Do you know this whole channel we could have been sitting on each other's laps and nobody would ever know? <laughs> Like, I could, like, you could be sitting on my lap playing games, and I could have my arms around you, like, bear-hugging you, and nobody would ever know the, be none the wiser. We can get away with some crazy shit. We could do all these Let's Plays fully naked. We'd be smoking cigarettes while we do these Let's Plays. How do they know I'm not smoking a cigarette right now? <laughs> we went to go see uh, the director's cut of Midsummer last night. And lo and behold, what did, what did Jackson do? That was, that what it, was, what we, we were just in there. You, you thankfully got me, you got me a movie pour, by the way. I said, was that what you wanted? No, no, no. Like I'm just saying, like there's two. You, there's the there's the eight ounce, and then there's the movie pour, which is twelve ounces. 
I you got me the movie pour, and it lasted me the whole movie. I thought I, I have to figure you'd want the movie pour. I was like, give me the movie pour. <laughs> Very nice. But I go and um, so we're in the middle of the watching the movie. But well, before we get into this, no, we'll talk about it afterwards. Get into the story. Sorry, I bought a beer, like an eight ounce beer, because I'm like, you know what? I, I should drink a little less, especially after Australia. My li- liver, my liver done. is not. It's working overtime right now, so. Um, Your liver did a speed run that night. God, my my, I don't want to see what my liver looks like right now. <laughs> like, your lungs and my liver are probably racing each other to the finish line <laughs> I know. right now. Who's gonna die first? You have liver disease or me of lung cancer? Well, uh, it, it's a race, isn't it, buddy? It is. Well, we'll see. We'll see who wins. I always get back into smoking. It seems when I go abroad, because I'm because I'm good about it when I'm here. And when I go abroad, I start smoking or something. Because it's like vacation. You're like, ooh, doesn't Exactly. Count, and then I'll come back and I'll be like, oh, I still have a pack left over. Might as well smoke mm-mm, this. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, dropped my phone out of my pocket. You'll never see that thing again. God damn it. The carpet swallowed it. We had such deep carpet in this recording room <laughs> I like that it's like three feet this, deep. Instead of that, the floor is just kind of like the, the think of the texture of a sewage grate. <laughs> or like those old storm like the storm drains so it's just so like, like bars essentially and like there's like fucking just like there's just trash and stuff that's been falling just, just down underneath at the bottom of a pit no it reminds me Runs of like, like some high like 10 story pit <laughs> <laughs> like it like in a parakeet cage now there's the floor underneath like the cage that collects all the shit so you can like yeah, clean it out it's that's like that us. but it goes 10 stories down in the recording room it's great for soundproofing but if you drop your phone or your keys, you're not getting that back. No, unfortunately not. Absolutely not. Or if uh, you were to drop like your jewel down there, I ain't seeing that thing again. I was cleaning my car the other day, and I found uh, I found an old one of my jewels underneath wow. the seat. You know, it's they're like collectibles in a game right now for you because it's like it, it's almost like if someone were to be given the side quest, it's like, hey, please, my fuck. name is Matthew Watson. Fuck, I lost all of my jewels. If you find them throughout the land. Could you please return them? I'll give you a reward if you manage to collect them all. Okay, here's the thing. I don't jewel anymore, but how good would it be in a super mega game if that's a side quest? Like, <laughs> you have to find all of my lost jewels. And but they're, like, throughout the whole The map. entire world. Yeah. Because I, when I used to jewel, I, I, went, I lost a lot of jewels. And I was such a little a little addict that I was like, fuck, I have to go buy another one right now. And then, and then I'd find the other one. So I ended up having, I think I've probably owned nine or ten jewels which is very and when you think about how much a jewel costs that's like seven hundred dollars of of just the jewels and then i also uh i can't even tell you how many pods i've i've gone through dude you dude. remember how when i was in like my deep jewel phase how many pods i was sucking down Look, a day my brain is still on the game that we're talking about oh the search the the, 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 the hidden jewels yeah what if there was a side quest for me and the rewards at the the reward at the end of that was like this weapon that you could use like once per level or something not a weapon but like this item you could use once per level or just a certain amount of times and it's just called Ryan's cigarette and whenever you take a puff you become invincible and you can kill any enemy in one hit like I get all muscular and I go <sighs> Like it's like, a it's big like Popeye's spinning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's just a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> and then during the coughing is the transformation to like muscles <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Like, but your eyes are all like, <laughs> your teeth are all yellow and, and yeah. shit though. And your eyes are all like yellow. But you become strong and like uh, right before it starts, a, a thing comes down to show my lungs and they're going, <laughs> they're super healthy. <laughs> That's right, because smoking like, actually like, does, it's good for your lungs, despite, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a lot of people think that smoking's bad for you, but it's actually, there's a lot of studies that say that it is good for you. Nicotine's good for you, folks. Nicotine, it keeps your brain up uh, up on a moving, you it's know? It's stimulant. It's great stimulant. It's fantastic. Especially when you put it in a tobacco cigarette. I think everybody should at least try nicotine. See if they get addicted. It's worth a try. I don't, um... I'm sure nicotine has some actual, like... It it is a stimulant at the end of the day. If it wasn't paired with a cigarette, would it like could doctors? Do you mean like does nicotine have any good qualities? Yeah, well, I mean it's a stimulant, so just like caffeine, I guess you know, it, it's got a. I need my nicotine. Cause cause caffeine's caffeine's good. It's me slapping a patch on my forearm. Do you ever consider nicotine patches? No, no. I tried the gum and it made my mouth. Dude, feel the gum awful. made my my it's throat just tingle disgusting. in a bad way. Try the patches, man. Slap them on. Yeah, I I would love to uh. When I have a new prank for on Jackson, okay.
when Jackson's sleeping, I'm going to start putting nicotine patches on him. So he's going to suddenly just have this like craving all the time. I feel time. like you've, you've had this idea before. I was going to do it. We Actually, Jackson and I were going to do it do to it. our friend Christian. Okay. Uh, oh, so yes. he would just okay. be like, you have this craving <laughs> and have no idea what it's for. I need you a know? cigarette. Like, like, would that happen? Would you just suddenly be craving cigarettes all the time, even if you've never smoked if, one? Well, since your brain connects it with, I don't know, because if you don't know it's nicotine, then how would your brain know You'd probably to just be, out? like, agitated all the time, you know? Yeah. Until you gave someone a cigarette and all of a sudden it'd be like, whoa. Oh, my God. Is yeah. This... And so you make their first experience with a cigarette something biblical. Like something just it's it's a fucking religious experience. That's a way to guarantee an addiction to cigarettes <laughs> is like if you really want to get someone addicted to cigarettes, do the nicotine patch thing for like a month straight. I've been uh like whenever Justin visits, uh I, I go to where he's sleeping and like while he's sleeping I like smoke a cigarette next to him. I'll just kinda like be on my phone. I'll smoke my cigarette, so hopefully the secondhand smoke and just gets being him a little in that bit room addicted. We'll get him addicted and I'll I'll have a smoking buddy. I'm kidding. I, 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 I really, I really want to quit for good at some point. But I'm a son of a bitch. I'm a fat piece of hey, piece hey, of bitch. Stop. You're not a fat piece of bitch, Ryan. You're a beautiful piece of awesome sauce. You know. If Patreon stops working out, there's always a a promising amount of money in donating blood plasma or dealing drugs. I'd, I honestly rather deal drugs just because I, uh, I, I don't think either of us really like needles. And then neither of us are good at scheduling, so we'd have to schedule appointments to go to the plasma center. Yeah, it'd just be a lot easier if we could just. I'm cooking up. There's I cooking up crack is. I don't think it's that hard. Really, it's just what? Well, it's just cocaine and baking soda. You just cook it down. How do you sling crack though? You know, how do you sling that that bag of Ryan, dope? We live in Los Angeles. I guarantee slinging crack is not a hard thing to do. In fact, I'm so willing to guarantee, I'll I'll sell an entire pound of crack this this week. Okay. Just to prove it to you. Okay. Come back in on Monday and I have like <laughs> huge stacks of cash. Check it out, dude. Sold some crack. Oh shit, dude. My, can I get in on this? No, you were mean to me. Nope. My crack, my empire. I'm going to start a crack empire. Oh, Would, yeah. Well, I'm going to start a fentanyl empire. Okay. So. Well, that's going to kill people. Crack doesn't kill. Crack's actually healthy. Doctor, yeah, but my doctors, shit gets people hooked, so at least I know I got them. Yeah, but doctors have been saying that crack is... A, there's this new study. Crack actually is pretty good for you. Crack doesn't... It's all propaganda that crack is bad. Yeah, I, that's in the same study that said smoking cigarettes actually makes your brain bigger. It does. So you don't want to no, smoke too many. No, I'm saying it's many. from the same study, Yeah, right? you don't want to smoke too many because your brain gets too big. It's from the same scientific journal I, I was reading the other day that says uh, if you eat tobacco, um, you'll live an extra 40 years. The highest crime in Quickville is importing alcohol and tobacco. All the who's and who bills. Dude, if I... We're all fast asleep. If I could do one thing, yeah. I, I'd put every last ounce of tobacco on a rocket ship and fly it to the moon. That wacky tobacco? No, just tobacco. Oh. That's like Chris Chan's, uh... No, if I, uh... It's like if I had one... If I had one wish, it'd be to put every last ounce of tobacco on a rocket and fly it to the moon. So no one else could get addicted and... We would all be happy and dancing. Have you seen the video of when Chris Chan tries their first uh, alcohol? It's a, it's a Long Island iced ah! tea. It goes, Is that their reaction? Salty. <laughs> Wait, really? It's a Long Island iced tea. Salty. You ever had a Long Island iced tea? Yeah. It's long. And it's from an island. <laughs> and, and it's tea. Yeah. God, that was... Our, dude, our comedy is so fucking bad. All right, bye. Yeah. Hey, well, guys, had a lot of fun. It's like, hey, thanks for tuning in to Mafia City. This is like Ellen Selfie. Ugh, I have cancer. <laughs> it's not funny. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you learned some uh, some some fun new things. Some goofy shit. Uh, real quick before we go, I do have a quick uh, word of advice to the kids listening. Um, smoke cigarettes. They can't hurt you. They're very healthy, and you can't get cancer. Bye, everyone.